And there's 86 people watching right now. Yes. Well, we went to 118 watchers. I'm glad everyone's watching. Because I'm telling you all, Van Hilton ain't nothing. Let me get off here. Let me get back on it. All right. Yep. Bye. Okay. So the link has been sent to Andrea's email. Andrea, you're free. We'll help you get in here. But, uh, yeah, it's shocking. shocking. Yeah, I just had a few other people saying they're watching, but they can't talk. And I was like, well, that's all right. Just listen to us. <laughs> Well, I mean, well, if I you know everything. something that wants to come in, you can share them. I'll trust you. You can share the link I gave you on Facebook. The well, join I don't link. want to get off here because I'm scared I won't be able to get back yeah. on. I hear we got a, we got 118 people watching. We do so. And Von Helton is one of them, guaranteed. Yeah, I know he is. It just ain't showing him. Well, he's sitting back listening. He's just not talking. Yeah, he knows. He better not. I'm going to put him in his place. Well, is there anything else you want to say to him? He said he's there. He's there in the crowd. Well, I mean, I don't know what to say to him besides, you know, me and him's going to go round and round. He's probably going to jail. Mm. He's and probably going to go to jail on March 19th with the kids. And then when he goes to court on April the 8th, he definitely might be staying in jail for a while. So, yeah, you were mentioning you guys are going to court uh, April 8th. Yes, because on April 8th, he is trying to take custody from his mother. He wants full custody of his mother where he can control all the bills and he controls all the houses and he controls everything. Mm -hmm. She already told me she's not giving it up to nobody until the day she dies. And her will says that the grandkids get everything. Yeah. All Irvy gets is $200 a month for the rest of his life. 200 bucks. And honestly, he probably ain't even going to get that because he's already took $25,000 out of her bank account. Mm. Yeah, he's been spending a lot of money on stuff. Oh, yeah. I already bought a refrigerator and stove and UPS delivered it. $10,000 worth. Oh, my goodness. If it wasn't black, he didn't want it. It has to be a black refrigerator and stove. Hey, Andrea. <laughs> hey. It's good to Hi, see you. Hi, Andrea. Hello. How you doing, girl? Doing great. Wait, you been you listening get? to this? Yeah, of course. I've been typing too. Yeah, now I can hear you too. So, 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 how have you been doing? It's been a long time. I've been doing pretty good. And do you have a new baby now? Yep. All oh, right, on. And he just and how's he doing? He's sick right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. They get a little bit of a fever sometimes, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you have to say about the whole situation? I mean, you lived with the man for four years. Does any of this sound familiar to you? I believe he's paranoid and has lost his ever-loving mind. You, well, I think he might have lost that a while ago, but it sounds, it sounds similar to your situation with the medication and everything, right? Yeah, he wouldn't be giving me on medication, and I was begging for him to give me on meds, and he put him on top of the fridge, and he knows I can't reach upstairs. Mm. So he'd make it difficult for you to take your medication? Yeah. And now that I'm on the medicine, not, not on the right meds, Andrew is back, and Andrew don't play like Larry. <laughs> the dynamic duo. Sorry, I had to meet you for a sec just because we're getting a bunch of echo, but that's okay. I'll unmute you here. But uh, just uh, another question, Andrea. Like, I mean, have you had contact with Vaughn in the last few years or anything like that? No, the last time I saw my kids was when they got taken away from CBS, and I was in the group home then. Yeah. And, they, and the, the judge was going to give them back to me, but the group home did not allow the little kids there. Huh, yeah, that's for sure. And he took advantage of that situation. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But, and then he's lying and saying I'm in a mental health facility. Yeah. Um, like, I go to a day program at the mental health, but I'm not, like, all the way in the system. Right, right. I just go there, like, to have something to do during, during the day. No, I got you. He's just, it's just an attempt to, like, defame you and, like, talk bad about you, right? Yep. And since so I get no money saved, I'm going after him. Yeah. You gonna try to get some justice, Andrea? Yeah. Yeah, justice for Andrea. Now, when you were with him, he, how did he treat Alice? Um, he would call her all kinds of ugly names. Yeah, he talked bad about her quite a bit, didn't he? Yep. 
Then does he talk bad about her to her face? Yeah, he would call her all kinds of ugly things to her face. Wow. You get her all upset and everything. Yeah. They were kind of just wanted to hit him. And it was, you think it was probably, he was manipulative. Like he tried to manipulate yeah, her. Yeah, he's very manipulative. Yeah, it's Bond's way or the highway, isn't it? Yep. But he ain't getting his way for long. No. Sounds like his time's coming. It is. Now I'm just gonna switch back to Larry. I'm gonna unmute Larry for a second. I gotta punch up to Larry. This is just kind of an off I'm thing. I'm here. So we'll just deal through it here. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but Von Helton really likes his video games. And he plays one in well, particular. Don't we... You're breaking up on me. Okay, can you hear me okay? Now you're better, yes. Okay, I'll try this again. Long story short, we know for a fact that Von Helton downloads these modifications for his video games that right. put vaginas on the horses and allows dogs to, uh, let's say, make love with females. That I don't know. I don't go in his bedroom. Well, it's just I found that very odd. I don't know why a man would have to put vaginas on a horse and make it so his dog could screw females in his video game. I just... Yeah, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know why someone would want to put it on any animal. Exactly. What do you think, Andrew? Was he ever, did he ever do that kind of stuff, like mod his video games and stuff back in the day? Yeah, he would use mods and stuff. Would he use, like, sex mods and stuff? Yeah. yeah. He's been into that for quite a while. I just think it's weird adding horse vaginas and, like, dog penises and stuff. That's nasty. Well, I'm just scared, like, what if the kids just, see that stuff? What if the kids see that, you know? That's gonna mess with their head. I think that's why he locks them out of their bed- out of his bedroom and lets them do whatever they want. Yeah. For hours and That's out why of that house looks like it does. Mm-hmm. Well, Andrew, you remember, he used to get very upset if he didn't have his time on the internet, right? Yeah. Like, can you tell me of some behavior? Like, he used to rage quite a bit, like, get very upset. Yeah, he did. And it was meant hard to me sleep. And I got so stressed out that it, I was in a mock and it was like me did Yeah. And he'd be lying and said I was making it up. I don't, when I'm sick, I don't make up stuff like that. Well, we have him on video telling you to go sleep in the car. Yeah. I, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna sleep in the car. I'm gonna sleep right here. That's wild. Tell your wife to go sleep in the car so you can go on the internet. You know what my wife would tell me? I'm throwing your internet out the door. Mm -hmm. That's what I should have done. But see, I, 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 I thought I didn't like to say so because, I, you know, I was living in the with him. It was I, not really his property at the time, but you know. You were his, you were his wife, not his property. That's mm -hmm. what he viewed me as, his property. You still have a mind to do whatever you want, girl. Yep. And I ain't nobody's property. Wow. But he used to your property to his God. Yep. Now he used to get really mad on the internet, but he, after he'd shut the internet off, he'd still be mad. He'd be all wound up, wouldn't he, Andrew? Yeah. Because he wasn't getting what he wanted. Nope. And and he used to hear the oldest daughter, Leila, she used to get pretty upset. Like she got scared listening to him yell and scream, right? That's why, um, like I don't even make videos on YouTube. Right, right. I, I think that's the opposite of me. I'm like, I made maybe one video on my old account. I have a new account now. Right. But, and that was like the only video like I ever made on YouTube. The others were, you know, when I was talking to be sitting there with him. Jeez. Well, I just wonder what the kids think when they listen to him screaming and carrying on and... I never stared at him. And I watched him beat them. You watched him hit them? You watched him hit them? Yeah, well, he would beat them with the belt. What? Yeah. You should have called the law right there and then. I was scared he might do something to me, too. Th and then he would have went to jail. Wow. I mean, I should have done that, but I was sick at the time, and I wasn't thinking clearly. Well, he should have. Well, I will take Didn't he, Andrea? Huh? He shook a fist in your face. He shook yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Wow. So he used to strike the children with a belt. strike the children with a belt. Yeah, and, yeah. and leave marks on them. Wow. And then he's going to lie and sit there and say that I hurt my kids. I would never do that to my kids. Well, yeah, he used to say that you were the one that hit them. No, he's the one that did it. 
Wow. wow. Last time I was there, I was there. Well, not before I got arrested. Because, um, there's another called the sheriff on me. Mm-hmm. But, um, but, um, last time I was there, I was in there playing with the kids. Like, I was playing with, with them, I was, with them, I was doing dick, uh, watching Ray with the jigsaw puzzle by Ray. himself. And I was yeah. coaching her on, I told her you can do it, and she did it. Oh, that's good. Good for her. But but he would, he would be, I'm gonna like, clean that ring because they refused to clean that ring. I said, well, I'm gonna clean that ring. And I had a spot. Yeah. But you were left doing all the work every day, right? Yeah. Like, you did the laundry, you cleaned, the, you did the dishes, you looked after the kids, you washed the kids, yeah. Yeah, and my, and my mom um, did the same thing too. He would just sit there and play those little video games and my mom was up here. Right. I'm not uh, out there. I put, yeah, she helped out quite a bit. I'm not in Kentucky yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she helped out quite a bit when you lived there. Yes, she did. And he, he was pretty rude to her. I saw him mouth off at her a few times. I know. Isn't that, that's sad. He is sad. That's unreal. Now, do you think, like, as someone that's lived with Bond, do you think he would steal from his mom money? I believe it. Yeah. I don't doubt it one bit. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. All he ever talked about was getting the property and and stuff. Well, yeah, he used to talk about it back then. He was he was wringing his hands. He thought he see what really disturbs me is if he's in charge of her medication. You know, and, and this is pretty serious stuff. And Von Helton, again, you have the link. You you are free to come in here. I know you're watching. And I want to give him the benefit of the doubt to give an explanation because. If he's manipulating the medication, like that's conspiracy to murder somebody, basically. That is. Larry, I'm gonna bring. I'm just gonna unmute you for a sec, Larry. Larry, there you go. It, All right. Like, like that's a conspiracy to murder. Like that's premeditated murder. Yes, it is. Yes. And you guys believe that he is capable of that kind of thought? Honestly, yes. I believe it. Like I, I'm scared of him. Like, I mean, he's already. It's, Proven to the court is dangerous. Right. No, yeah, definitely. No, he's violent. I can't even believe they're entertaining the idea of him like, taking over care for Ma Helton. Well, she's denying it. She don't want it to happen. That's why she brought me back in the picture. <laughs> Excuse me. So she doesn't even want it. She want it. No, she don't want him to have no power. No. So, so Von Helton is the only person in this whole thing that wants to have power. Yeah, exactly. And then he's gonna get don't get his way, and I'm scared of what he's gonna do to like the kids and the her. Well, he ain't gonna do nothing to her, and he ain't gonna do nothing to the kids, because the kids are gone. Yeah. Them kids are going home with you on the 19th. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mm. Well, I'm, g I'm gonna be in that courtroom, girl. I know. I will be in that courtroom. Unreal. Yeah, um, my young son, um... Is adopted. I signed the adoption papers. Mm -hmm. To keep him in the family. To, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's doing really great. Other than being sick. He's almost walking. Oh, wow. Good. So he's, he's being looked after by a family member and you're involved in his life? Yeah, I'm, I, I have legal education on him and I've never heard him that one. Well, that's I good. I don't know myself or even think about hurting another kid. Even mm -hmm. if it, even my kids, you know, I would never do that to him. Yeah. Well, yeah, like we were saying, he already has one child he's neglecting in North Dakota. They're gonna go after him, too. Well, well they sure. can't no more. He's 18 now. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's 18. She don't have to pay child support no more. Uh, well, Ma's been paying that. Yeah, Ma's paid all of that. Yeah, she did. And then it's and only a 50 50. doing that. And it's only a 50-50 chance that it's his. Yeah. I believe There was no DNA test took in for it. Yep. Yep. Well, he always claimed that the was, but he thought the kid was a clone or something. Yeah, I don't know about that, but he, he, he told me it was his kid, and I was like, well, did you do blood work? He goes, oh, they got a piece of hair from my hairbrush that I left there two years ago. Oh, different. How many people has used that hairbrush since he has? What, what did he tell you, Andrea? He told me that all they had to do was, um, all she had to do was get a piece of his DNA, send it to the mail, and you know, send it to wherever place they sent it to, and they wouldn't know no different. Yeah, well, that's his excuse, right? That's what he was trying to get out of it. Of well, you know, if I'm stepping up and I'm a parent, he's going to be a coward. 
Well, if I'm going to spend $30,000 on child support, I'm going up there to prove that I'm the parent first. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. There ain't no sending nothing in the mail. I am driving up there and doing a swab test right at Children's Services. Well, you know why Vaughn wasn't that concerned? Because his mom was paying the bill. He don't give a fuck. Right, right, exactly. He is not a good parent. Oh no! I hear what? he's got about twenty thousand dollars in debt with the college that he went to. Well, that's his big excuse for not working. One of them. Well, that's his big excuse for not working. Yeah. And I'm in college right now, and I know there's no responsibility right when I graduate. Um, to pay the loans back. Yeah. So you're in college right now. I don't want to get loans, but I'm responsible enough to run and to pay them back. Unlike him. What are you taking in college, Andrew? I'm going to business administration. Oh, good. Good for you. And I have a 3.11 GPA. I have a 3.11 GPA. Oh, great. That's good. Oh, great. Yep. So there's nothing yeah. wrong with my intelligence, but I have serious doubts about his. <laughs> no, definitely. Well, it sounds like you've definitely, your life is You know, I cool. think the funniest part is, he's looking for girlfriend. Yeah. And that's what I noticed when, he's... when I, um, we were married. And, and I look, if she's, he's not interested. No, they're not. No. If she's 18 to 21, he's interested. After 21, he don't want nothing to do with them. To me, that's child molestation. That is. It's just when one of them is an, uh, he, a legal age. Yeah. Honey, he's 55 years old. He shouldn't be with no 18-year-old girl. Somebody's on age. He's not Hugh Hefner. Nope. Yeah, definitely not. And I think Hugh Hefner only has them because of that big fat pay money he's got. I uh, probably, but I mean, yeah, when you but... you live in a thirty bedroom home, then Hugh Hefner can have some of them beautiful women come and live with him. Yep. Irby don't live in no thirty bedroom home. Nope. Hmm. Well, as I stated before, uh, Von Helton, I know you're watching. You have a chance to come in here. You have the link. If what they're saying is not true. You have the right and the opportunity to defend yourself right now, live. I don't even think you know how to repent. Yeah, come on, Vaughn Hill. Come out here and uh, tell everybody we're lying. You know, I'm surprised. Come on, Vaughn. Yeah, I know. I told you. Yeah, he ain't gonna get on. You put my. If you would have said that it was you and him, he might have got on. But with my name involved. He wasn't coming nowhere near it. I'm messing with you. He's scared of you. He's scared of you. Yeah. Because he knows I don't play. Not about her. He my never tell you lies. I, like, I tell the truth. My mom and dad taught me not to play with nobody. Yeah, I don't play mind games. I don't play mind games. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. He tells me I don't know how to raise kids, but I got five gorgeous boys. And they're all of age. Yeah. yeah. And that's what he says. Well, that's why your house stays clean, because your kids are 15 and 17 and moved out. And I was no, like, yeah, well, I had, younger, I had to teach them. I had to teach them when they were babies. Yep. That's what you're supposed, yep. to do. supposed to do. When they're done with their toys, you tell them to put them toys away. And if they don't, and they do too, you um, sit them in the corner for time out. No, I put, them in, I put them all in a garbage bag and tell them I'm throwing them in the garbage. Well, if they can't the pick up their toys board. and put them in the toy box where they belong, I will throw them away. No, I mean, you should do that too. And I guarantee you, after two times of losing their favorite toys, they start picking them toys up. Yep. I heard he's spending a lot of money on them cars, too, he's been buying. Yeah, and actually, Larry, after we're done, if not tonight, tomorrow, I'm going to provide you with links. Where Von, Hel all the nooks and crannies on the internet, where Von Helton hangs out. Okay, that'll work for me because I'm gonna post all of them. Because he has a video, he has a video channel on a site called uh, BitTube.tv, and he posts yeah, all his. Yeah, and he posts all his uh, Hot Wheels, big hauls, boxes and boxes of them he's been buying. In his barn, yeah, got them all he got people to build yeah, tables. And, and, and he set up a big Hot Wheels track. Right, right. Yeah, I've seen it. Well, yeah. Well, Jerry could use that money for therapy. Yeah, for, for a special teacher. Mm. Oh, well, that's where he's getting the money. Jerry's money. 
I know. And I'm sitting there. And his mom. I watched one of his videos. I'm sitting there like, where is he getting all this money from? And then he like sitting there and he's like, charging somebody out his truck. I'm like, huh? I'm like, I didn't know what was going on in the background. I just, I just want to jump in for a sec. I want to uh, clear up some confusion in the chat. BitTube TV is where Vaughn posts his racing cars. And then on bitchute.com, that's where he puts his crazy conspiracy stuff. Well, I told her, okay. um, I told her to be afraid about bitchute, so she's really watching it. Okay. Well, I've seen everything he's put out on YouTube. I saw a couple of them, and then he's so mad about them, and they're talking crap about me and everything. And I haven't seen him in man in years, and I've done nothing to him. And I'm like, that's it. You want to sit and swing at me? Go ahead. But I'm going to go out and go out the board. Well, when he started shaking his fist in your face and threatening you with guns and stuff, I think that was a line too far. That was a step too far for sure. Yeah, that was a trigger for me to get weak. You know, to get out. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... No matter how, you get out of there. That's what I was think trying to figure out how, and I'm like, the only thing I need to do was to get one of my... The guy I met online to come to pick me up. There was nothing going on between us. Well, and that was up to you, girl. I Me, I would have dialed 911. I would have dialed 911, had him arrested, and you'd still be sitting there with your kids right now. I know, that's where I messed up. I know, that's where I messed up. But I learned from that. Well, and that's what we all do. We all learn. Yep. Life is a learning thing. Yep. And just to be clear, too, when we're talking about the Hot Wheels and whatnot, we're not, it's not the fact that he's into Hot Wheels or makes videos, that's fine. But the question is, how is he financing it? Because he spent thousands within months. Right. He's not. Hello? Funny. He's not. Hey. Funny. Well, in my opinion, my guy's, my guy's more powerful than his. Well, well he, he's threatening you with hell, but he claims he's not even a Christian. He, he says he's a, a fucking pagan or something. Yeah. He's a warlock. That's what he told me. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's a welfare warlock. Well. He's a paycheck. Like, that's kind of why he wants lots of kids, that's right? That's what it was. Yep. He got paycheck. It's all about those Benjamins. Yeah. Lord. That's pretty good when you're not paying rent. That's pretty good when you're not paying rent. Yeah. <laughs> the only bill he pays, honestly, is his telephone bill, his cable and internet. Of course. And that's out of the kids' money anyway. He don't pay rent. His mom pays the lights. His mom pays the water. His mom mm -hmm. even has to pay the lawn service to come in and cut it because he's too lazy to go cut the grass. Pays the money to the sun. I don't believe that one bit. I don't believe that one bit. And she's got a $3,500 lawnmower that's one of them circle turn things. Oh, they're the fun to drive. Oh, they're the fun to drive. Yeah, she's got one of them brand spanking new, ain't a year old. Oh, wow. Hmm. I've heard that too, Andrea. He says he's allergic to the sun. Yeah. yeah. He, he says vampire. he's allergic to garlic too. Yeah, that's what he he's He's allergic to garlic too. Yeah. That's why he's allergic to garlic before and he didn't bring the garlic. Don't know that's a lie. That's all he knows how to do is lie. That's all he knows how to do is lie. And there's lies about to catch up on him too. And there's lies about to catch up on him Well, I was hoping to catch him tonight, but it looks like he's too scared to get on. <laughs> yep. He's watching. I know for a fact he's watching. He has the link. Come on, yeah, he's sitting there listening. Probably another channel or something. Well, he doesn't I don't have to see the chat. Don't name. He could just be watching. He's lurking. He's watching. And I don't care what he has to say about it. Because I'm going to get the truth. And now he just goes right back to him. Reverse psychology. Right. And listen, and again, genuinely, I want to give Von Hope the opportunity to respond to this. Because I'm going to be totally fair. I don't know you guys. You know, I'm just giving him the opportunity to say your piece. And I give him his opportunity. But I think his silence is vacuum. The fact that he won't come in. I would just think if I was innocent, I'd want to come in and challenge us. Yeah, if somebody was talking bad about me, I'm going to come in and challenge you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The silence is definitely. You need to go ahead and say it. And get it over with. That's right, Andrew. Just like a band-aid. Pull it out quick. Yep. Yep. Ain't going to hurt my feelings, what he has to say. I hear you. That's it. I think he... I think the only problem is he knows I'm like two minutes away from his house. I could be there like a blink of my eyes. Yeah. yeah. Larry, do you know much about uh, Vaughn's military service? He did six months and got kicked out. He did get kicked out. He got kicked out at six months. And he got, what did he get kicked out? Just not being able to do it? Or was there an altercation or a... Person, they said that they really didn't know. And then I had my uncle tell me that he was a nutcase. So they threw him out. Oh, just acting up all the time and probably raging out. And... Yes, yes. Yeah. Went and followed directions, went and do what he was told. Thought he was the sergeant instead of a rookie. Well, he did tell a story about how he got in a fight with a sergeant or something. And he, his version of the story, of course, is that a sergeant and somebody else was related. And they worked to get him out of the army or something like that. They were trying to give him a hard time. 
Yeah, I don't think they do that. He also claimed that he worked as a special ops after and he traveled around America playing pimps. No way. Nope. If he's all... Oh, we gotta reload happening, we gotta reload happening. Uh oh, Larry dropped out. Well, Andrew, what do you think? Like, what, what do you have to add to this whole situation? I don't know if Andrew hears me. Okay. Can you hear me at all? Can the people out there hear me? Oh, we got Larry coming back. We you got Larry back. There? Yeah, we got you. I'm back. Had a glimpse in the website. Well, maybe Bond was trying to get you. He was zapping you with his vampire powers. Yeah, that, that could be it. He's sending the devil this way. Yeah, the devil he doesn't believe in. Yeah. Well, the devil better watch what he's doing because I got a lot of crosses. Oh, put Andrea back. Let's see if we can get this happening again. Can you hear us, Andrea? You think they might have kicked us because we've been on an hour? Oh, no. I got lots of time. Okay. We're live. Yeah, she's live now. I mean, it, like, it just kicked us both. Well, she reloaded. Okay, okay. She's having audio problems. She's talking, but I don't hear anything. Andrew, you might have to go into your audio settings and reset your mic or something, but... I don't know, Larry, you got anything else to share? Because it wasn't like he's gonna be a coward here and he doesn't want to... No, not really. I just wanted to get out there what's been going on and tell everybody who says he's lying. They're definitely right. He is lying. Right. He has taken his mom for everything she's got. At least he's trying, but I'm not letting him. Right. Right. And again, that opportunity is there for Juan to come in and dismiss this. I mean, if this, again... It, you know, I'm giving everybody the benefit of the doubt. We're just putting the news out there. I'm not saying one way or the other, but I, I do think that it's quite a statement not to show up. Right, right. Well, it's just like he said, my Uncle Little Jim stole, uh... Like $50,000 from Alice about eight months ago. He has a lot of money come up missing. But what would Jim do with money? Jim's got money. Right, and Jim was the executor, wasn't he? Yes, he was the executor of the will and everything. He yeah, was her power of attorney. Yeah, he was trying to claim that Jim was trying to rip her off and this and that. Yeah, J Jim can't even handle the 40 acres and the two houses he has, let alone someone else's stuff. Right. Hmm. And then I told him, well, he don't like Jim. Well, I got another cousin that makes Alice look like a welfare case. Right. She ain't nowhere near a welfare case, but I got two or three cousins to make her look like a welfare case. Right. So basically, if they're going to target someone for money, there's other there's other targets in the family that have more money, right? Well, yeah. I mean, but I mean, if someone's going to be executive of the will or someone's going to be power of attorney, if he thinks that little Jim, because little Jim ain't got all that kind of money, then we'll give it to somebody who has that kind of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He makes, like I said, makes Alice look like a welfare case. This man brings in more money than Alice is going to collect for six months. Right. So he doesn't have the motivation to steal it. Whereas Vaughn has all kinds right. of motivation. Right. Well, I ain't told him. If I told him what Vaughn's been doing. Um, well, between me and you and Vaughn, you can hear this Claire's Day, buddy. The day we lower your mom in the coffin, there's six family members that are going to take you out. There's 14 of your neighbors going to take you out. So the neighbors are upset with him, too? Oh, all of them. Nobody there's nobody down here that likes him at all. Wow. He's burned that many bridges. He, he burned all the bridges. Is it just being nasty to people, or...? Being nasty to people, being nasty to his mother. Mm hmm Well, they, they, they probably... talk about her. Yeah, well, I've seen him on video call her a bitch and call her this and that. And... Well, you know, I don't know if you know, but we're from a very small town. Right. I mean, we got a little elementary school, we have a post office, and we got a gas station, which is a carryout. He went up and bought $600 worth of lottery last month. Lottery tickets? At one time. $600 worth. Wow. Because he's been saying he's going to the lottery. Yeah, yeah, well, all that money was his mom's money. And he, he acts like he ain't going to let nobody know. Well, when you walk into that carryout, that's like walking into the paper. She tells everybody everything. And everybody knows. Go in there and say, well, I can go in there right now and say, Irby stole $1,000 from his mom today. By tomorrow morning, the whole town knows that he stole $1,000 from his mom. He's not helping his case by walking in like a man that has no income is walking in and in one sitting buying six hundred dollars of lottery tickets. Yeah, exactly. When he ain't got no money, he don't work. And of course, that's why she told me. She go, she, that's why she come and told me. She goes, Larry, your cousin was just in here. He bought over six hundred dollars worth of lottery tickets. Wow. Don't put me wrong. I try to play too, but I don't spend no more than ten dollars. Well, it's your money. I got a family to feed. I got bills to pay. Yeah, the thing is, it's not even his money. Andrew, we can't hear you. Yeah. You might have to uh, go to mic settings. And reselect your microphone. No, nope. we see your lips moving. <laughs> oh, what happened? Then we'll try to get figured out. Yeah, but Von, hope we know you're watching again. I don't know. You know, maybe he's got some, some excuses. Maybe he found six hundred dollars under a rock by Lake Allen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right under her front porch, maybe. Yeah, in a jar or something. But I mean, he, I mean, the, the opportunity is there. If he, if he's got a story to tell and he has an explanation, that's yeah. All, all his explanations are all lies. Mm -hmm. That's like he told Alice. I never went in your house when they were remodeling it. Little Jim said he was there every day. Uh, keep he, he made a bet with me one day. He told me he, he says, "Well, I know little Jim's gonna take everything as soon as my mom dies. Jim's taking it off." And to be honest, I don't bet unless I know it's a surefire thing. He goes, "I'll shake your hand for a thousand dollars that Jim takes everything." I stood up, got up there, and went hand. Knowing uh, that the day before that, little Jim gave power of attorney away. Jim took $167 out of his own pocket and took power of attorney off of him. Well, I can hear you now. Yeah, I can hear you too. Jim didn't want the headache. Yeah, I can hear you too. 
yeah. You back, girl? He's, I'm back. Yeah. I'm back. Okay. He's so lazy and stuff. He's so lazy. Yeah, we're waiting for that lazy husband still. Ex-husband, sorry. Yeah, ex-husband. <laughs> yeah, ex-husband. <laughs> Guess what's well, your opinion? Guess what's that? I'm engaged. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. And we already set a date. And yeah, you know, I already told you that, girl. Yeah, sure. so when you get married? It's a great man. He does not like that at all. Well, no man's going to. I know. Not if they're a man. And there's Von Helton sitting in this trailer playing with horse vaginas on a video game. <laughs> what is wrong with that guy? I hate psycho. Now, do you think Larry that girl oh, yeah, maybe mom spoiled him or coddled him too much or something? I was gonna say the same thing. I think his mommy and daddy spoiled him rotten when he was a little boy and never disciplined him at all, and that's why he became the way he is. Mm-hmm. But yeah, when I get up to the court, um, I'm going to um get the divorce papers and the marriage license. I'm gonna name things. I'm gonna name. Excellent. Well, you don't want to get your you don't want to get your marriage license here. You want to get them in Alabama where you guys live. No, I thought we got married in Texas. I had to go to the courthouse and get them. Like, have them. Mm. You got to go to the courthouse to get the divorce papers. Well, I, I, in order to take my name, I have to have a marriage license. Too. I always have to be social security and police well, down here. I'm going to try to get well, they ain't going to give you a marriage license if you're already divorced. I do not. I do not. If you're already divorced, they can't give you the marriage license. I didn't know that, but. But if you're getting ready to. If you're getting ready to marry somebody else, then you need to get them court papers from that court justice. So you live in Alabama, you need your Alabama court. Yeah. But you'll have to get your divorce papers up here showing your divorce and you're able to get remarried. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Well, that's good. Will it be a summertime wedding? Will it be a summertime wedding? No, it's going to be... We got a plan for, um, plan for May the 4th. Oh, okay. Springtime. Oh, okay. Springtime. Hey, that's huh? just right around the corner. Yep. Oh. That's why I'm going to be booking it to get that divorce papers. You must be excited. I am. I am. I'm only ready for years for my fiance to ask me that question. Oh, good. And she said, go ahead. And she said, go ahead. Hmm. At least he's a man and he asked for permission. Yep. yep. He's never married before. I had to kind of encourage him because he didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. I said, Do you, you have something to ask my mom? And he's like, What? I, and I'm like, I never knew you before. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I'm like, Well, here's a bit of encouragement for you. And I encourage him to ask my mom. Hmm. Your mom didn't really care much. I didn't really care much. Oh, she cares. But, 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 um, much in love with him and everything. No, I meant Jane Von Helton. Von Helton. She didn't like him. She didn't no, like him. No, she did not. He was rude to her a few times too, eh? Yeah. Yeah. What kinds of things? Well, would I, he can't say, I can't huh? say much about that. Right. No. Fair enough, Larry. But Andrea, like, what kind of things would you say to your mom when he was mad? Do what? What kind of things would Von Helton say to your mom when he was mad at her? He knew not to say much about to her because, um, he knew I'd say something. He knew I'd say something. Right. Right. And then he's trying to like brainwash the kid and, and make him his enemy when I'm not. Right. Right. I think that they're blaming um that it was my mom that ran me off when it was really him. Yeah, and just to clear the air too, like he, the the, the quote unquote internet trolls didn't like brainwash you to leave on Helton, correct? Correct. Correct. He did not brainwash me. Yeah. I, I, was, I, the only thing I needed to do was to leave, and I knew that this person would um come get me when he heard him in the background, threatening to kill me. Mhm. Mm That's when John Chacon came into the picture. Yeah, I don't even talk to John yeah, anymore, like. Well, he helped you out, though. Yeah, he helped me out. Yeah, he well, helped me out. Well, that was good. Wow. Well, again, that's, I, when, I, that's when you know there, That's ahead, when you know there's good people out there. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I forget. Sometimes there's good people out there. Yeah. But, um, I'm opening up to it now. Because there's actually people out there willing to help me. 
Yeah, well that's good. Well, like I said, girl, the 19th of this month, you're coming up here to come and try to take these kids. And I'm on your side. I told you what to tell the judge. You might have to remind me again because... I mean, I, I'll tell them that you live in a small apartment now, but as soon as your kids come home, you will start looking for something bigger. Yeah, they're gonna be the good well taken care of. Cause that's, cause that's the first thing they're gonna look at is where you live and is it big enough for you to have a family home? I mean, my mom's trying to find a big enough place. You know, I, I've been part of children's services. I know all about them people. I know, I know. I, I know what they're gonna say. I know, I know, I know what they're gonna say. Right now, I'm like living in a one bedroom apartment with my mom, but I'm not, um, but I'm not gonna be living with my mom for long, though. Right, exactly. So if you get your kids back, tell them you're gonna get yourself a place. Huh? What'd you say? Well, you know, you can look into them housing projects down there, too. Well, I'm going to move in with my fiance. He's got two bedrooms. Apartment. Well, you're going to have to get a little... You might have to get something bigger. That's enough holding. That's enough holding. Because the girls are going to need a room, and Jerry's going to need his own room. They yep. cannot be in the same bedroom. They cannot be in the same bedroom. Yeah, they cannot be in the same bedroom. And down here, I think they said they're going to have to have their own room. Yeah, they cannot be in the same bedroom. Yeah, they if you had three or four girls, then you could put them all in the same room. But being a boy and girls together, you cannot put them together. No, you can't. No, you can't. I have to talk to my fiance more about, more about that. But I'm waiting to see what happens on the 19th. Well, that's the main thing. Wait until the 19th. Then I'm going to talk to him about it. Then I want to talk to him about it. Like I said, I'm going to be there, and I'm going to tell the judge what I think. They should go with you. And then with yep. Jerry's check coming into you, you should be able to pay your bills. Yep. You should be able to take good care of them kids. I'm going to. I'm spoiled, but not as much like I'm the artist. I'm going to train them to be good Christian I'm people. Train them to be good Christian you know, good Christian kids. You know, good Christian kids. They're going to be going to a good church. Come on, Vaughn Hilton. Where you at? Better to talk to you. Where you at, coward? Fun. Where yeah, where are you at, coward? The coward of Clay County. 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 Christian people. You know, good Christian kids. Good Christian kids. They're gonna be going to good church. Come on, Von Hill, and where you at? Better talk to you. Where you at, coward? Fun. Yeah, where you at, coward? Come on, Von Hill, and where you at? Better talk to you. Where you at, coward? Fun. Yeah, where you at, coward? The coward of Clay County. The coward of Clay County. The coward of Clay County. Kentucky. I didn't know this, but there's a Clay County, Alabama. There's a lot of Clay Counties all over the United States. Yeah, I didn't know that until, um, check the map. Yeah, there's like 11 or 12 of them. And I'm like, wow, how you know? Hey, I looked up my own name one day, and I come up with 42 of them. Yeah, there's, there's a lot 42 of Larry Frosts. <laughs> there's 42 Larry Frosts. Wow. <laughs> and they live all around the United States. The funny thing, I'm friends with four of them. <laughs> yeah, like I saw them. Yeah. And I'm like, who's that? And I'm like, yeah, you think I'm young. So, yeah, Larry, my cousin named Larry Frost. Larry, I got a question. This is a little off topic, but I was just going to ask you about, like, uh, years back. Vaughn's first wife, Pam. Vaughn's first wife, Pam. What happened to her? You never met her? No. I haven't either. Mm. Well, I met Vaughn probably about 12 years ago. Okay. okay. And uh, he was living in his, that trailer by himself. Pushing on the internet for 18 to 21 year old girls to be his girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he come out for a family. The main reason I come down here is a family reunion. I love the weather. I love the scenery. I love the peace and quiet. I mean, my town. We're lucky we got 50 people. Yeah. In this whole 20 mile radius. There's 40 people. Right. Right. And when I first met him, his hair was probably middle of his back. His fingernails were probably longer than his whole fingers. Yeah, he used to do the long fingernail thing. I don't like long fingernails. Yeah, yeah, and his, mo his mom yelled at him about it during the family reunion, and I was like, well, buddy, you know, she just wants you to look decent in front of the family. Why don't you yeah. go brush your hair, put it in a ponytail, and put it up in a hat? He goes, Larry, you don't know what you're talking about. I took my hat off, and my hair is longer than his. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's wild. So he couldn't tell me. I, that's what I'm saying. He says, I don't know what I'm talking about. Why I'm through it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't pampered by my mommy and daddy and was given everything by a silver spoon or the gold spoon. Right. I had to get out and work my ass. When I was 16 years old, I was still staying at my parents' house. I got a job and I had to pay rent. 
Yeah, that's how it goes. Yep. And if I wasn't paying rent, then I could get out. Well, I mean, then they see my food appetite, and then they're like, "We're well, pitching in our food too." <laughs> well, I mean, this thing, what's he gonna do once once Alice goes? Because I mean, the guy has not held a job in his adult life since delivering pizza or something like that. Like, what? He, he thinks he's gonna live off them houses. And he ain't gonna be able to do that. No, he ain't, because them, them houses are real to your children. Yep. He will uh -huh. get it for a month for the rest of his life. That, that is. I've seen now, that in her lawyer's hands. If the estate we is left to the children, that in. The children we live there, though. In. If the estate is left to the children, and he, uh, well, that you know, he's he's guardian, he's guardian of them. Don't they get to stay there? Well, if he's got guardian. Yes, he could stay there. But if age or if she gets them, then all the money will go in a safety deposit box. And if it needs a hot water tank, I'll go get the hot water tank. When them kids start turning 18 years old, it goes to the kids. Yep. And in the it says they cannot property at all. Wouldn't it be ironic, Andrea, if you got yeah, custody of the kids? have to rent these properties out. Wouldn't it be ironic, Andrea, if you got custody of the kids and Vaughn got kicked off the property and you moved into the double wide? Yeah, that would be something. Well, Vaughn, Vaughn's mom told me the other day she was thinking about throwing Irvy out of that house and moving her in it. Hmm. Because she wants her grandkids back. She don't worry about her. She wants the grandkids. Yeah, this must be hard on her. She loves them to death. Yeah, that's sad. Well, Vaughn, he's going around and saying that well, he's coloring um, their hair. And yeah. Well, Vaughn, help you have the opportunity. I mean, if these people are lying on you and, you know, this is this is all fallacious, then, I mean, come on in. I'll moderate. I'll make sure it's fair and you have your floor. If fallacious, then, I mean, come on in. I'll moderate. I'll make sure it's fair and you have your floor. Yeah, we'll give him his time. We'll let him talk. I mean, he's been talking a lot of shit around the internet. Yeah, yeah. 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 Buddy, it's in the telephone book. Get on Google yeah, and say Children's Services, Google. Manchester, Kentucky. Yeah, Google. Google. Well, he's dealt with them for he's a decade. He's smart on the computer, but he don't have Google it. Well, he's dealt with them for a decade. Yeah, he should have their number by heart, huh? Yeah, many times. But it was four days after yeah. they took them. I tell you, if someone comes out here and takes my kids, I will be there before they get there with my kids. I've noticed that Andrew, maybe... my kids without explaining why they took mine. Andrew, maybe you can have something to say about this, but I've always noticed that when the kids are gone, he seems kind of blase about getting them back, almost like he looks at it like a mini vacation. Maybe that's the way he looks at them. Well, you know he got their check and their food stamps this month. Next month, what's going to get to him? Yep. Get to him. Yep. Then he's going to start going off and saying he's going to sue the whole city of Manchester. Yeah. And, he, and um, yeah. he's going all... He thinks I'm already in Kentucky. He thinks I'm already in Kentucky. Well, Social Security has been notified, and so is Welfare. That's good. That's good. Blessed Bible Fight Club. Uh, in the chat, aka Bruce, if I can say, I think that's what's I don't know if I've ever had any conversation with this guy, but he says that if Vaughn's too uncomfortable to come in here after I shut this down, he's welcome to go in there and vent, say his piece, but, you know, and that, so I'm just putting that out there, but it's, you got the link to this one, I mean, your accusers are right here, you have your chance to face your accusers. Yeah, you got something to say, say it, we'll let you say it. I'll keep my mouth shut for five minutes. Me too. Me too. But if yeah. he talks anything about my kids or wife, I'm going to your house. Here. Yep. That's, I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah. Difference that a few years makes. Difference that a few years makes. Difference the medicine makes. It's the medicine makes. It's the medicine makes. Yeah. Yeah. The medicine's making her good. Yeah. Yeah. She's been taking that medicine like she's supposed to, and she's doing good. Exactly, and that's the biggest concern with Alice right now, just to kind of bring it back to our original points, because that is serious. If that allegation is true, then he prints the medicine, mate. It's the medicine, mate. It's the medicine, mate. Yeah, yep. the medicine's making her good. Yep. 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 
She's been taking that medicine like she's supposed to, and she's doing good. Prince, the medicine it's makes. It's the medicine makes. It's the medicine makes. Yeah. Yeah. It's the medicine's making her good. Yeah. Yep. 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 She's been taking that medicine like she's supposed to, and she's doing good. Exactly, and that's the biggest concern with Alice right now, just to kind of bring it back to our original points, because that is serious. If that allegation is true, then he's messing with her medication. Yeah. He could be liable for well, something. I don't lie. I don't lie at all about nothing. No, you sure don't. No, you sure don't. I'm as real as they get. Well, Von Helm has been known as a quite a storyteller over the years, that's for sure. Well, I've seen a lot of them. That's why I've been looking for him to put him in his place. Now, when he's out around the family and that, does he try to tell them that he's a vampire and that he's uh, the Punisher and when all this When the family shit? comes around, he goes in his trailer and he won't come out. Mm-hmm. So, zero interaction. He hides in the trailer. No interaction with the family. He ain't a frost, because I am a frost. And he's mm -hmm. not a Hilton. He's a Vaughn Hilton. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. So, has there ever been any more, like, uh, instances? Like, when that cousin came down and he pulled a gun? Has he ever had any other freakouts of family members? Not that I know of, because the rest of them all carry their own guns. And I think he knows if he pulls a gun out on one of them, they're going to shoot him. But has he even had, like, any fights? Has he even had, like, any fights? No, well... Little Jim wanted him one time, but Little Jim says, no, it wasn't worth it. Yeah, he's not worth it. Well, me, I don't care if I go to jail. I've been to jail a hundred times, and I'll go a hundred more. I don't care. Now, Von Helm also me... claims, claims to be yeah, related to Ted Nugent. That's what he told me, too. Larry, have you ever heard that, that he's related to Ted Nugent? Oh, uh, we got quiet. Oh, uh, I don't know if Larry can hear me. Did he leave us? No, it shows we're still alive. Andrea, can you hear me? Yeah. I think Larry has lost audio. Maybe he's got Vaughn Hilton on the other line. <laughs> can you hear me, girl? Yeah. I can't hear you. i seen your lips move. Can you hear me, George? Give me I can the hear peace you. sign if you can hear me. I can't hear a word you're saying. I see his picture, but I don't hear him talking at all. He'll probably have to reload. Can you hear me? He might have to go to the bathroom. We'll give him a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Vaughn Hilton. Where you at, buddy? Oh, pal, let's have this talk out. We can talk about whatever you want. About you going to the war for two years is a lie. Jim stealing Alice's money is a lie. You stealing Alice's money is all true. Oh. Is that what he said? Okay, I'm doing that right now. Oh. I think Cousin Jen got the message through. I was going to start using smoke signals here in a second. Okay. I think I might have a Nick Bravo part two lined up for this Wednesday. Punchy and happy. I think he froze. I think he's having some connection issues. Yeah. He tries to say that it was us that, that gave you problems, but it was him with the medication and the way he was treating you. Oh, exactly. It's just what kind of guy he is. Okay, folks, it looks, I'm going to try to get a message and a link to Larry. They're saying that Vaughn is live. He was too much of a coward to come here, but he may be over at the Blessed Bible Fight Club. Hey, Doc Savage. Looks like the uh, party is moving over. we got to get Larry a link so he can get in on the action. But, uh, can I go too? Yeah, so in the chat, Andrea, you see they're posting the YouTube. Looks like the, uh, party is moving over. We gotta Hang on. Maybe. Maybe Jen can help him out, but I'm going to yeah, shut send this. me the link. Yeah, I can get the YouTube. We're going to go to part two now. We're going over there. I don't know if I have to agree with it, but whatever, you know. 
Oh, modern day debater, or, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm listening to, uh... Well, Dane was my only fan. Or at least aim the camera at my face. That's a total fucking lie. Then they said I beat my kids with a belt. I never have done that. And that too is another lie. In fact, in fact, not only do I not beat my kids, I get chided for not even reprimanding my kids as much as I do. I never had a freaking chance to knock out any of them. When I was spinning, my pants didn't fall down and grab on me. Well, I got a belt, but I've never used it on my kids ever. Because uh, I, because a belt leaves wealth, see? Yeah, and in the state of Kentucky, if you leave a belt, guess what? You get your kids taken away permanently. Okay, so, no, so no, I know that's a fucking lie. Okay, you can't leave a belt on your kid. All right, so that's another fucking lie. Now, here's the key point, Bruce, and this is the important shit. All right, back there behind me is another computer. And on that computer is everything that Andrea has said, everything that Jim Frost has said, everything that Larry has said. So everything they're saying in this chat has been proven wrong by that computer back wow. Okay? Wow. And, when, and I'm taking those hard drives out of that computer, and they will be mailed to my attorney. And you back those hard drives up, though. You gotta back them up, though. You know what I mean? So you know you gotta well, copies. It, uh, trust me. The, the, the attorney is, is well aware. I just, in fact, I just emailed him. Well, they're getting these. They're getting these hard drives. Now listen, Andrea just got through saying in that chat. Oh, me and that, me and that, uh, that guy that, that that I left, I left his house with. We didn't do anything. He was a gym. No, uh, there's messages back there saying that he wants to screw my wife. He wants a blowjob for my wife. And and you should see, you should see the comments on Facebook even private messages from Facebook on those hard drives back there. Every illicit thing you ever heard of, sex. Uh, you know, they, they talk about those mods that I that I that I help people with. And by the way, I don't own any of those adult mods. By the way, drag mods in, in the background. That's entirely up to you. I just I wouldn't have anybody in the Well, here, here's the here's the thing. Okay, I gotta get my say, and I ain't gonna get my say if anybody else comes in the room. I wanna get my say. Yeah. Now, Larry, let, let, let's, let's, I can help you then. Here, here's the point. Here's the point. Okay, Larry says that I'm spending my mother's money. Nope, sorry, it's not my mother's money. I have my father's inheritance. Now I don't need to tell the fucking planet where I get my money from. But since everybody's making a big fucking deal out of it, yeah, it's my dad's inheritance. It's it's my money. It's from my father. And Larry can't touch it. That's why he's mad. It's because he can't get my father's inheritance. Okay? And that's why he's pissed. He's got my mom's money right now. Larry does. He's got that green card that has my mom's social security on it. And that is illegal. That is against Kentucky law for him to possess that SS card. Only my mother and me, her son, can possess that SS card. Not Larry. Larry has no right to have it. So Larry's gonna go to jail for possessing her SS card too. He also has a driver's license. Is that is an SS card like a like a Nazi thing, like the no, 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 no. Social Security, man. Social Security, no. SSI, Social Security. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Her money. He's got her money. Okay, he's got her money. He's not making me compare some Nazi stuff on. No, 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 no. I don't know where you got the Nazi thing from. Anyway, yeah, he's sitting there. No, no, he's sitting there saying that I'm spending my mother's money. No, I'm spending my daddy's inheritance that I got. Okay. okay. In fact, in fact, I'm going to be getting more of his inheritance once I contact Ohio, because he's got some money up there too. That won't. Well, those people that are talking crap. I heard all that, and I was just like, oh my gosh. Well, no, Bruce, listen. Let them say whatever they want. My attorney has been informed. The county attorney is watching. Manchester police is watching, and, and Kentucky State Police is watching. Okay. So let them say whatever the fuck they want. They want to say that shit, they'll go to jail for defamation character. Okay. So it's all good, man. Andrea's listen. Andrea's boyfriend. You ready for this? Guess, guess what? Andrea's Andrea boyfriend. Is, Andrea's uh, who's she? Guess what? Andrea's my ex-wife. She's the woman that's in, uh, on the live show right now. Guess what? Her boyfriend's supposed name is. You ready for this one? Her, his name is John Connor, and he's from the Terminator movie. And him and his children is gonna save us from the machines. By God. Isn't that great? Isn't that some great shit? Isn't that some great shit? Uh, yeah. But yeah. He's, oh yeah. His name is John Connor. He's gonna save us from them damn machines, buddy. Just like the guy, the guy over there. The guy I saw. He looks a little bit like you. Are you guys related? Wait, so, okay. Now, okay. Now look. Larry Frost, who's over there, he is. He is a. He's not even closely related to mom. All no. right. He is. No. He is a distant relative to mom. He is from a half brother. Okay, he's from a half brother of mom. Okay, so he's not even close related to her. He's a good he's beard there, though, man. He's got a big, big solid beard. He doesn't know. have Indian any. He doesn't have much Indian any. That's why. Okay, okay. People with Indian don't get much of a beard. So he, does, does he tend to handle alcohol any differently than you, or the same? Or? I imagine he probably can. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. But anyway, I knew. See, yeah, you know, everybody's in the chat. You're a coward, bond. No, if I went over there, I wouldn't get a chance to be a word in edgewise. Okay, so it has nothing to do with being a coward. I'm over here so that my word can get out because it wouldn't get out if I was in in, in seculars right now. I, you wouldn't be hearing a single word from me right now if I was in seculars. That's why I'm here in Bruce's. Okay, there's a reason for my madness. All right. But anyway, uh, Larry is currently in possession of my mother's money illegally. He has no legal right to possess her social security card. He has no legal right to do that. So he's going to jail for that. He's going to jail for defamation. He's going to jail for terroristic threatening, which he just did. Remember, he just said that the, the neighborhood wanted to kill me and that he was going to kill me if I mentioned his wife or kids. All right, that's terroristic threatening. That's a death threat. He's going to jail for that shit, too. My lawyer is watching. They're watching everything. Okay, his fucking ass is going to prison. Hopefully, permanently. And, oh, and by the way, he bragged over the telephone to me. I got a criminal record. I ain't afraid to go back to jail again. Well, guess what, pal? You're going. So there we go. But anyways, um... Oh, goodness, that's a hell of a mess, though. It is a hell of a mess. Well, see, they want Mom's property. See, Mom has 200 acres of land, okay? She has enough land to make them wealthy beyond avarice, and they want that land. Well, guess who's in the way? Oh, me. I'm in their way. So they're trying to get rid of me so that they can get her land away from her. Well, that's not going to happen because I'm executive of the estate. And the only way they can remove me is by a probate judge, and they have to have a damn good reason. They have to prove that I basically get the shit out of mom before they can get rid of me, because I'm not going anywhere. All right? I'm not going anywhere. Isn't they even came out at this time? I mean, is it, do you think it's due to the economic crash with the coronavirus or anything like that? Did they chose this time to give you a bunch of shit? No, 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 no. This is something that Jim Frost and Larry Frost and Ronnie Ray Frost and possibly even Joe Frost, I don't know. I don't, he wasn't there at the time. See, there was a big powwow over here at the bridge. All right? Big powwow. Wait, over here. Or, or what? On mom's property, yeah.
Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, that didn't work out too well for him because I ended up getting power, uh, uh, executor of the estate. Okay, so they can't remove me, and that's another reason why Larry's pissed. He can't get me off the property. Okay, I'm executor of the estate. I'm also my mother's medical power of attorney. Now, Larry Frost lied, said that I, I refused to get my mom's her medicine, and that I refused to take her to uh, her doctor's appointments. That's a total lie. Nobody informed me that she had a doctor's appointment. Nobody informed me. Yeah, but, yeah, hold it, hold it, now, Bruce, hold it. See, as her medical power of attorney, I'm supposed to be notified in writing, even when she has medication, when she has doctor's appointments. Anyway, I'm supposed to get it in my snail mail out there. I never received anything in the mail saying that she had medical uh, appointments or that she had medication. Go get. And I'm her medical power of attorney. I'm supposed to know that shit, okay? That's called alienation. All right? They have alienated my mother from me, her medical power of attorney. That is also a felony charge, okay? Mm. That is also a felony charge because they are putting her life, they, they literally are putting her life at risk. Now, youth alienation, children alienation has been done away with in Kentucky. However, senior citizen alienation is still on the books, okay? So they're in hot water over that shit, too, all right? Well, the heck are they, what is, what's the big mess with your kids? What the heck are they doing? Well, if they get rid of the kids, then they get, it's easier to get rid of me. That's, that's the whole point behind that shit. Well, your kids, I mean, I'm just wondering, I don't know what's going on, really. They, listen, they don't give a shit about the kids. Um, you know, as far as they're concerned, the kids could just fuck up and die. They don't care about the kids. The only reason they're so concerned about the kids is because they want to get the kids away from me so that it's easier to remove me from the premises. So they think. It really isn't, but they think it is. Like I said, the only way they can remove me is with a probate judge, and I have to have physically assaulted my mother. Well, I'll never do that. I would never physically assault my mother. So that ends that right there. Boom, done. All right, it's all done. What is a probate judge? That uh, reminds me, like, I wonder, I mean, I never looked into this, but you think, uh, the terminology somehow, uh, like reprobate. I mean, just somehow, no, like, what, yeah, you know, I wonder, you know? I know what you're saying, but yeah, no, it has nothing to do with reprobate. Oh my God. A lot of spiritual crap. I know you like to, I know you like to pepper things with levity, and that's great, but, um, uh, yeah, yeah, reprobate. Yes, yeah, no. yeah. But anyway, no, seriously, um, but anyway, like I said, everything, everything that they're talking shit about is back there on those hard drives that can count every fucking word they say. Every fucking word. <laughs> I've got, I have Larry, I have Larry Frost and I have Jim Frost saying on Facebook that they're trying to get rid of me, that the land belongs to the Frost family. Well, I'm sorry, no it doesn't. It belonged to my father, my father willed it to my mother, and then it comes to me. It has nothing to do with the Frost family at all. This land has nothing to do with the Frost family at all. But Larry Frost, Jim Frost, maybe even Ronnie Ray, I don't know, but, but surely Larry Frost and Jim Frost are on Facebook saying that this land belongs to them. No, it fucking doesn't. It belonged to my father, my father willed it to my mother at his death, and then she willed it to me. Until they intervened and started, uh, you know, making a bunch of crap, right? Of course, that song, this land is your land, this land is my land, but that doesn't have to do with your own personal house, so that's new. Well, that's, no, the land, no, the land, see, the land down here in Kentucky is a bit different. See, Kentucky is a commonwealth state, all right? So things are handled differently down here. And believe it or not, I have a lot of power as the executor of the estate. Okay. Yeah. They can't, they can't, yeah. they're yeah. wanting, they want to, they want to, no, do not let Larry in, that's a bunch of shit. I come here to get, get my say, and I'm gonna get my say. Anyway, Larry has my mom's money in his possession right now, which is illegal. He does not have a right to have my mother's assignment. Sure. He does not have that right. That is illegal. And he's going to go to jail for that shit. Uh, tough, tough luck. Well, he, he, uh, I'm talking, I will contact the Social Security office and tell them that he is in possession of her money, which is illegal. He's not allowed to be in. Like I said, he's not even a blood relative. He is from a half-brother to my mother. He's not even direct blood to my mother. He's a distant native, uh, a nephew. He's not even direct blood to my mother. What the heck's a half-breed now? That, well, that would be, we're speaking of like, that's Indian terminology. In that's Indian terminology, yeah. Yeah, Indian terminology. Yeah. Well then, that would, that would, that would, oh yeah, let me, yeah, let me, let me, let me address the $22,000 since Larry brought it up. Since Larry brought it up, let me address the money situation, okay? Because y'all are gonna shit a brick when you hear about this shit. Alright, here's what they've done to my mother. Okay, you wanna talk about elder abuse? Here you go, you ready for this shit? Get your little record button ready, fuckers, because I want you to record this shit. Jim Foss, down the road here, threw my mother in a nursing home, and then started to rebuild her double wide, completely remodeled it, and told my mother, get this, that he was gonna put his son Jeff in the double wide and his son Junior in the single wide. And when mom said, well, what are you going to do with, with me, with Irvy, she, she calls me Irvy still, for some crazy reason. She said, well, I'm going to kick him off the property. Now, this is straight out of Jim Frost's mouth, said straight to my mother's face while I'm there sitting there, okay? So he can't deny it, all right? So he has been at getting this property for over five to ten years, all right? This has been his game from day one, all right? And you can sit there and say I'm lying all you want, Brad. I, I don't give a fuck about your opinion. You're a goddamn internet troll. I don't give a fuck about your opinion, all right? But the truth of the matter is, is that Jim Frost put her in a nursing home and started remodeling her home and in the process went into her closet and took $2.5 million out of her closet. This was verified by Larry Frost himself, who told me to my face, yeah, Jim Frost took $2 million out of her closet. Right? $2 million? Oh, wait, 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 it gets better. It gets what? better, Bruce. It gets better. You ready? It gets better than that. Well, I, had, I asked for permission. I asked for permission from the bank to give me to, to, to have me and the bank manager go check her safety deposit box. We went and checked her safety deposit box. Guess what was in it? You ready? Just a few silver dollars and a few thousand dollars. That was it. That was all that was in there. All of her jewelry was gone, and $3.5 million was missing out of her safety deposit box. Okay, now, you, now, now, the grand total, hold it, hold it, the grand total is six million dollars. Six million dollars. But Larry's gonna get over there on secular opinion and say that I'm stealing my mother's money? Really? No, I don't think so. I think Jim Frost stole, already stole our money. Pretty damn sure. Six million dollars is a hell of a lot of fucking money. You know what that makes him, unfortunately? What's that? The six million dollar man. Six million dollar man, yeah, there you go. But, 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 um, but yeah, six million dollars. Six million dollars. And, 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 oh, it, it gets even better, it gets even better. Uh, Marsha Frost used to come over here and abuse the shit out of Andrea, but Andrea's over there defending the Frost family. When Marsha Frost used to come over here, find her in bed, and start yelling at her, calling her a slut and a lazy bitch and everything else. But yet Andrea's over there now defending them fuckers, really? Wow, that's a
How did she get crazy? Oh, four and a half years of people talking to her on Facebook and Yahoo Messenger, telling her all kinds of stupid shit, driving her literally crazy. And then after she had the twins, she had postpartum depression, and the head of CPS comes in my house, set, looks her right in the eye and says, those, belong, those kids belong to us, we'll take them whenever they want. And they literally removed them off of her breast while she was breastfeeding. Can you imagine the trauma that would happen to a woman that had that happen to her and her with postpartum depression? Okay, oh. there's a lot of shit going on, see, that, that you aren't privy to, that I am privy to, and that my attorney is privy to, okay? So, but you don't understand. They want to see this property is valued in the millions of dollars. Even, even the most conservative estimate places this property in the millions of dollars. That's why they want it, see? They want to get rich. They want that money, all right? Well, they're not going to get the property, and they're not going to get my kids, and they're not going to get anything else except send straight to hell cell. All right, that's the only thing that's going to fuck happen. Well, this sounds like some pretty nasty stuff. It is some pretty nasty stuff. Like yeah. I said, this is this is a lot more involved than what you think. But see, I knew if I if I said anything in secular opinion, I wouldn't get my version of the story out. But see, now you know what's really going on. They're trying to extort my mother. They are literally trying to extort my mother. And right now, they're in possession of her money. Her SSI check. They're in possession of her money right fucking now. But that son of a bitch got on fucking secular opinions live show and said, "I've got her money." Fuck no, I ain't got her little card. I don't have it. Mary Cross has it. And who's got her driver's license and state ID and her, and her social security number? I want to um, know. I talk with Drag a little bit, just, I, mean, he makes, I don't know much, I mean, I'm, you know, I don't know. Drag doesn't know any more than you do. Drag doesn't know any more than you do. No, the, only, the only thing Drag knows is what a bunch of trolls here in the outside chat are saying. Who gives well, no, a fuck? Right, but, but, but my point is, he's a good guy, and I think he's reasonable, and he's fine. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, he sided oh, with... Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it, hold it. Drag not, by his own admission, has sided with these people, and these people have criminal records, some of them. Okay, not all, but some of them have criminal records. Okay, if you're gonna side with a bunch of criminals, you don't have any credibility. Sorry, you lost your credibility. I, do I look... Do, am I running around with a bunch of fucking criminals? No, fuck no. Only, uh, um, that flat earth guy, uh, Oh, he changed though. Rand, he did change. He ain't, he ain't like that. He ain't flat Earth no more. Well, that's his. No, he ain't criminal anymore. But 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 he's. Rand, Rand was not a criminal. Rand uh, Rand uh, Rand Paul, listen to me. Rand uh, Campbell is not a criminal. Rand Campbell is a Christian. He was, uh, as far as I know, Rand Campbell is not uh, is not oh, one of my haters. A criminal then? I, don't know. I thought he was. In no, he's not one. Of my, Rand Campbell's not one of my haters. Well, once you're a Christian, you ain't criminal. If you're not, if you're not a hater, you're not. You're not. Well, I'm not a Christian, so I'm not a Christian, so. Of course, I'm not an atheist either. I just want to at least say hi, Drag. If he gets out of control, I'll kick him. Uh, who, Drag? Yeah. I think yeah, but I won't be able to talk. Nah, he's mellow. Some of the other guys get all wound up. I think if he even talks at all. All right. Well, he's in here now. Go ahead, Drag. Oh, he's quiet. If it's even him, could be a troll. Yeah, might, yeah that's what I was saying. It might not be him. It might just be a soccer count. Possibly. Hello. Go ahead, Drag. Unmute. It, it um. Uh... Unmute, Drag. He knows how to unmute. That ain't Drag. Well, I told you he was smart. I mean, how of course he knows. Drag not knows how to unmute. Okay, that, that, that he, can't he, be. He, he knows how to run like all kinds of computer, like like crazy programs and stuff. You know, people and stuff talk. Yeah. Oh, and, and by the way, even if I even, even if I did beat Andrea, which was a total lie, proven proven in Manchester Hospital, but even if I did beat Andrea, why didn't I go to prison for it, dumbasses? Hello, use your brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I beat my wife, I would have went to prison. Duh, right? If I beat my mom, I would have went to prison, right? Yeah. Okay. So how am I escaping prison, guys? How how the hell am I doing this? You know, accusing me of beating my wife, accusing me of beating my mother. Why am I not in a prison cell? Well, this man ain't jealous to beat a turtle or something. Well, fuck yeah! You, you can't even beat it. You can't no, even beat a turtle without going to jail. What the? You're right. You're totally right. So, so I was listening to quite a bit of uh, the previous uh, discussion with. Yeah, and as I told you in email, total fucking lies. I've got like I told like I told Bruce here. There's a computer back there. It's got all the truth on on the hard drives. All I gotta do is hand it to my attorney, and they're all going bye bye. All of them. Gmail, Gmail has computers with backup show on it too. But, you know. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, so I, I don't remember Larry making any overt threat to kill you though. I must yes, have... he did. Yes, he did. He said if I mentioned his wife and kids, he would he would come down here to my house. Okay, that's that's a subtle inference to one of the. He's so he going to kill you though. Then. I, what, doesn't fucking matter. But that's not what he said, though. That's not that, that's, 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 it's a huge difference saying, I'm going, going to confront you versus I'm going to kill you. Those are, those are quite different. Dude, aggravated assault is still a crime. He, will he didn't say he was going to assault you either. Well, I, 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 I said he was going to assault you. Dude, come on. I, I'm fully aware of how threats work, Bond. Right? Right. You're a young man. Read between the lines. I'm quite close. If you come down here personally and confront me, you know damn good well what he's saying. Okay? Out the crap. I'm going to confront you because I can either intimidate you and not place a hand on you, or I can place hands on you. I have the option. And Larry has an option. You can't say what he was going to do because he didn't actually indicate it. He said he confronts you. That's it. But you said he said he would kill you. Larry has a criminal record, okay? Okay, and he doesn't want to go back to jail. Oh, I understand that. He's been that. in jail numerous okay. times from what he told me out of his own mouth. He's been in jail numerous times. Cool. Maybe he doesn't want to go back. <laughs> he told me he didn't give a fuck whether he went back or not. That's what he told me. On the scene, it would seem pertinent to him that he not go back if he wants to supposedly take you to, to, to court over this. He's not taking me to court, dude. He's not. Well, he said he would be there, but he's not taking me to court. He's not. Uh, okay. well, there, there seems to be an issue. A lot of allegations, according to people who don't know much about your life, and, and, I, and I get that. You have a right to defend yourself. Well, uh, see, the thing about this, I didn't want to mention where my money was coming from. That's what got me mad. Because that's my private fucking business, and I don't need thousands of goddamn trolls on the internet knowing about my business. So you're upset that let Larry, let Larry everybody on the internet know about your business? No, I'm upset because Larry forced me to say where my money was coming from, which I did not want to reveal. Well, I, didn't want to, I didn't want to talk about my father's inheritance. That's my fucking business. But see, Larry gets on there and lies and said that I was spending my mother's money, that I'm spending Jerry's money, and that I'm, doing, I'm just wasting their money by the handfuls, which is a total fucking lie. I'm using my father's inheritance that was granted to me when he passed. Well, that's nobody's fucking business but my own, okay? That's nobody's business. And like I said, I'll be contacting Ohio. He has some more money for my father because he's got some money up in Ohio waiting on me, too.
Like, what, by, what by blood? I, I reckon it's I reckon it's marriage. I don't think okay, it's blood. So okay, so just by by marriage, he is related. Yeah, but so what? Yeah, blood. Okay, so does the law care whether or not you're blood? Yes, actually it does. Really? So, yeah, okay, so, so my, I'm not related to my wife. Okay, I took two years of real estate law. Let me get this out. Okay. okay. All, all right. right. All right. Okay. Property, money, things of value, are to go to the direct descendant. Okay, they're not to go to some distant half nephew twice removed from birth and shit. Did that guy get six million dollars? You're saying or what? Who that's money. Yes, that money that they stole should have come to me. That's correct. Absolutely. Wait, Larry Oder's got six million dollars. Larry doesn't have the money. Jim Frost has the money, and he squandered it too. He bought all kinds of new money. Bought all kinds of new outbuildings and shit. Yeah, he squandered the money. Yeah, well, that's how, how did someone who's supposedly not related to you get your money? He had power of attorney over my mother. He had power of attorney. Over Why would she do that for someone who's not her relative? Well, he's. I don't fucking know. I guess he manipulated her. Hello, they've been manipulating her so, for years. So your so your mother is susceptible to people manipulating her. Apparently, really. I mean, they was able to they was able to get power of attorney over her. Now wasn't they? So, I ain't got power of attorney over my mother. I don't have it. Sorry, I don't have it. You can spend it. She, she would have to sign paperwork in order to give you power of attorney. She did. What they done? They told her. They, they took her and told her. Said, yeah, uh, you're in danger or whatever the hell they told her. Who knows what they told her? I wasn't there. But they got her to sign to give him power of attorney over her. Now Larry says he recused himself that he recanted it. He recanted the power of attorney. Okay, great. Where's the document? Oh, wait, there is no document. Well, yeah, who's... Is it, no is doc it, listen to me, this is all... Who the is the property, Frost property? That's Bruce, 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 this is very important. There is no document showing where Jim, James Arnold Frost, Jim Frost, recanted his power of attorney. There is no document to that effect. My attorney has not seen it. I have not seen it. The courthouse has not seen it. The clerk of courts has not seen it. Nobody has seen said document, okay? So Larry is lying to cover Jim. Period. End of story. Because Jim took mom's money and refuses to return it. Period. End of story. Okay. Thank you. Six million dollars. Let that sink in for a second. But they're over there talking shit about me. They're over there talking shit about me. They stole six million dollars from my mother, and they're gonna talk shit about me. Fuck them. I'll see them all in jail. I'll see you them all in jail. Have you ever? I mean, seriously, it's, uh, sat down and had it's more than a one-on-one -on -one talk. I mean, a talk with the gods. I mean, really, just discuss this. I mean, uh, just, let me flip off here. Let me tell you. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. You know. I feel. I feel like my gods are in control of the situation. I know Dragon is an atheist. Well, just plug your ears, Drag. Okay, but I believe, I do believe my gods are aware of the situation. They got the situation well under control, and that all of this is going to come out good for me. I really do believe that. Okay, um, so, you know, I can talk a good game all they want, but I really don't give a shit. Well, uh, one of the things they mentioned that it's not going too well for you, Vaughn, and this is where I kind of agree with them, is that you recently got the, the kids taken away from you again, correct? Well, of course, that's how it works down here. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think, well, that's just how it works. They, they drag, have to something in order to take the kids. Drag, right? drag, I've been through this nine and a half years, dude. Here's what happens. They make an allegation over the phone. Uh -huh. Yes, comes out here, uh -huh. and whether they find anything or not, they can make something up and take the kids. This last time they took the kids. Okay, what did they say? Oh, he was neglecting the kids. Okay, well, what was I doing? Well, supposedly the kids didn't have clean clothes. Well, that's a lie, because I just bought some at Walmart and they were wearing them to school that day. Then they said the kids' hair was dirty. That's a lie, because I know they got a shower. Then they said I didn't put any goop in their head to kill bugs. That's a lie, because I left it in their hair that morning when they caught the bus. Okay, so did they have a legitimate reason to take the kids this time? No, that they took them anyway, because that's what they fucking do. The government is a piece of shit, dude. Never, never trust the government for anything. Well, this is they were lie, they're fucking ass off. Well, it's interesting you say that. I actually have an old battle buddy in the army that had CPS called on them for a few reasons. Uh, and some deserve, some not. And they didn't end up taking the kids, even though one of the instances was actually disconcerting. So you, well, you're telling us that but this isn't the only time they've taken the kids now. Right, right. And I've actually watched the video. Hold on, I've actually watched the video where you're reading the CPS report. So they have a reason to think that this might happen. Okay, Drag, this has been going on for nine and a half years. Yes. And once you're in the system, you never leave. You never I leave. You. I absolutely agree. All right. Okay, all right. So every time one of these sick motherfuckers in the outside chat here calls CPS, that adds up, okay? That adds up. All right, and that's what they do. That's why they do it because they know that they can get CPS to do whatever the fuck they want. CPS is basically their little puppet, and they can get them to do whatever the fuck they want. I don't think it works that way. Because tell me, that way. Hold on for a second, Bob. If every time that they call CPS, you get your kids taken away, you never have your kids. Yeah, pretty much. But you had your kids for quite a while. No, no, I haven't. They, really? They you haven't had them for more than a month. Okay, here's what happens, Drag. Okay, listen. Most of the time, I go to court, I get the kids back. Okay. This time they kept them uh, because they wanted Andrea up here to, to see him or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I don't care. I don't give a shit. See, Andrea has. Oh, that's another thing too. Uh, Andrea, according to Manchester Hospital, not Von Helton, damn it, Manchester Hospital, Andrea hears voices in her head telling her to kill me and to kill those kids. Mm -hmm. All right, so if my kids are exposed to Andrea, what is that called? Oh, that's called child endangerment. That's what that's not called. Not necessarily. That, well, I'm sorry, but yeah, necessarily. Because no, she's on record, no, excuse me, she is on record from the Manchester Hospital stating that she hears voices in her head telling her to kill me and to kill those kids. And okay, those well, kids was she seeking diagnosis after, after, the, after the fact? Yeah, of course she's been diagnosed. She was in Middlesbrough, Kentucky, in middle ward. Of course okay. she's been diagnosed. Well, was she seeking treatment? I don't know. Don't care. Is that I don't care. Because you don't care. Because you're fucking making it up. No, I'm not making it up. No, don't you not. She's so, down in she was down in Oldsburg, Kentucky, in the middle ward. That's not. I'll, 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 I'll buy it. Bon, I'll buy it. I'll, I'll accept it. So if someone suffers from a mental illness, then they shouldn't have their children. Is that what you're telling me? That's exactly what the law says. So if you suffer from a mental illness, Bon, you shouldn't have your kids. Yeah, I don't. I don't suffer from mental illness. Nice try. I remember that. seeing. I, that, I remember I seeing that, a video where you're reading the CPS report where they mentioned that you have a mental illness. Well, drag. Listen, it was suspected, not diagnosed. Alle alle allegations are just that, drag. Allegations. That's all they are. So we have allegations against Andrea right now. We, we have, no, we have documented proof, I guess, Andrew. You have, uh, you have documentation of her medical diag
I mean, they might, I can leave. They might as well confront each other and just get it over with. Yeah, yeah I'm not confronting anyone. I'm gonna get my say because I won't get my say any other way. That's why well, I come on here to be by myself so I can get my say in. All of right. Of course it is. But the one thing I know damn good well, I wouldn't get my say in second opinion. Yeah, the, 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 one I did, the one thing I did. I'm not going to say I'll fucking leave. I mean, it's not, you know, it's no brainer. My attorney has been notified. The county attorney has been notified. The Manchester police has been notified, and the state of Kentucky police has been notified. I'm and so the FBI, I'm sure they all been notified. But yeah. the one thing I didn't want, yeah, the, the, the one thing I, the one thing I didn't want to bring up is just one thing at a time. Don't, don't like yeah. overdo it, you know. The, the one thing I didn't want to bring up is uh, Vanya brought up that uh, your children got taken from your custody because apparently, like when they got on the bus, they something happened where they were. Uh, Something along the lines of the not school being... nurse lied, dude. She flat out lied, and she's gonna go to jail for perjury. Okay, so they don't worry about the school nurse. She's gonna go to jail for perjury. She's well, gonna... I, didn't say, I didn't say nurse. I said bus. Whatever. The, so the your, your nurse children, your... Listen, no, listen. I'm trying well, to tell you. Hang on, 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 hang on. So your children did catch the bus. Yeah, of course they fucking did. Okay, well the point I was gonna make up was on Sister Sunshine's channel. Uh, you said that uh, the fucking bus didn't come out to your fucking house because you had to drive oh, them. Okay, let me explain. No, of course. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Re re God damn it! No, no I'm not gonna shut up, fucking piece of shit. No, I'm not gonna fucking shut up. No, I'm not gonna fucking shut up. No, no, I'm not gonna fucking shut up. Get out of here, I leave. Okay, I'm gonna kick him. Hold on, I let you go. I'm sorry, Loki. Because I can't talk. Yeah, I can't. Uh, have... There are two schools down here, okay? There are two right, schools. There's two schools. There's Burning Springs and O'Neill, okay? Burning Springs refused to bring a bus to my house. That is a fact. That's not my opinion. That is a fact, okay? They refused to bring a bus out here, okay? And at the time, I had my kids going to Burning Springs, and Burning Springs refused to bring a bus, so I would have to take them by my, my truck. Uh, you know, I'd take them and put them in my truck and take them to Burning Springs. That's where the confusion comes in, okay? But as far as, um, you know, them not getting on the bus, no, it's why They get on the bus, right? They get on the bus. Right, that's, that's a total fucking lie. Right, you know, like I said, these, these guys don't want me to get the truth out to you because they know it's the truth. They know they know I, I don't beat my kids. They know I didn't beat Andrea. They know I didn't beat my mother. Okay, they're saying these allegations because they want to try and have an excuse to remove me from the property. Well, it's not gonna fucking happen. Okay, because when they take her to the doctor and she ain't got a mark on her from me, then that'd be the end of that shit, right? Like I said, if I really had harmed my mother, harmed my ex-wife, or harmed my kids, I would be sitting in a fucking jail cell probably to this very day, and I'm clearly not in jail. So obviously. Either the criminal justice system is a total fucking failure, or somehow, miraculously, I end up getting off. No, I didn't do it. That's the answer. I didn't do that shit. And I wouldn't do it. I'm not stupid. You think I'm gonna go around beating the shit out of people? No, they get you put in jail. I don't wanna get put in jail, because then I'll lose my kids. Hello? I'm not stupid. Alright? But anyway, I just wanted to get my say in, because Larry's over there lying his fucking ass off. I even told Dragonaut in the email before I even got here. Said he's lying. He's, he's a bitch liar. He's been calling so many fucking lies that ain't even funny. And not just by me, mind you, but by other people as well. Alright? But trust me on this, you have nothing to worry about. I will get the kids back, these people will go to jail, and hopefully I can get mom's money back, or at least get, get some kind of compensation back for my mother. Um, you know, as far as her medication and doctor's appointments and shit like that, like I said, I'm supposed to be notified by mail. I'm her medical power of attorney. Ain't, no, ain't nobody notified me of jack shit. So I've got a case for that too, which I intend to pursue, okay? They're going to jail. The, the school nurse is going to jail. Dr. Del Mundo is going to jail. All these motherfuckers that are libeling me and defaming my character are going to fucking jail. They're going to they're going. Would that be physical jail or? Yes, actual physical jail. Right, right. See, defamation, defamation is a criminal suit, whereas slander and libel is a civil suit. But see, I'm going after defamation. What? The criminal suit. What? That's not no. Bonds, is that? No, it's not my lawyer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know, that's, that's just control. Lawyers. Just control. Are you he's talking to you, a lawyer? Recording. He's recording you, Bruce. That's what he's doing. He's recording you. But that's all right. I don't give a shit. Okay, you're right in my list. What, what, what? If you disagree with my client, you're going to jail. No, get him out of here. Fuck. No, anyway, no, anyway no, the point is, how are you? It's just some troll, Bruce. God damn, just get him out. Fuck. I'm right in the list, Bond. Yeah, I'm sure you are, man. I'm, oh, sure no, no. I'm sure you are, buddy. Holy shit. What a Holy freaking idiot. What the hell's Don't wrong? Don't lawyer in the mouth. Bruce, curiosity killed the cat. Take Bruce, the advice. He's a dickhead. He's not even a freaking lawyer. I'm pro boner. No shit. No shit. How much do you charge? <laughs> About 50 cents. <laughs> Um, $6. Yeah, $6. Yeah, there you go. For Christ. Okay. $6 lawyer. There you go. That's yeah. about right, actually. Wait, Shannon. That's about right. Oh, Vaughn, have you seen the Shannon for Christ stuff? You have to admit, that's the most amazing stuff I've ever seen. Oh, right. God. I, I am just, you know, you know, you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on record and say that I actually agree with Dragonaut that G-Man having anything to do with Shanny is a stupid idea. I'm actually going to side with Dragonaut on that one because that would be a very stupid idea, okay? I'm just going to talk And I don't, don't hate G-Man. Everybody knows I'm G-Man's friend. I don't hate him. But right. if he hooks up with Shanny, I'm sorry, man. I just, no, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what to say. I mean, she's married and having sex online. I mean, I'm actually going to hook up with her. Now, from what I heard, and this is, strictly, this is strictly hearsay, okay? Let me say that clearly. This is strictly hearsay, but I heard she'd become a lady of the night. Objection. No. That she's in the, I have heard, no, I'm not kidding. I have heard that she is literally in the red light district, man. She is a lady of the night. I have heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's true or not, I have no fucking clue, but okay. I have heard that shit. If that were the case, who would make more money? The lawyer charging $6 or Shannon? Yeah, obviously. Careful, Ron. What you're doing right now is defamation, which will send you to physical jail. No, I said it was an allegation, Ron. You better look up no, your... No, no, that's a defamation. Yeah, I did say it was an allegation. I did say, I did say it was speculation. As your lawyer, please... Would you please take control? Okay, we don't need the, we don't need the troll. Besides, I can't get my words out of here. He doesn't know shit about the, the legal system. No, he does not. Get him out of here. Right here. Let me ask, yeah. ask him a lawyer question, Vaughn, and see if he, if he can stump the moron. Just oh, I can, easily, I can easily own this fucker. Hey, uh,
see if you can get this one. Uh, let me think here. What the? What would I need? Uh, what's what's damages for mental cruelty? What's the damages for? Physical jail. No, no, it's not. All right, get him, get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's getting out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Him out of here. Him out, him out of here. Nobody can hear me if he's talking. Get him out of here. Oh, you're right. Um, I know I'm right. I'm, I'm sitting here listening, looking at it over him. I'm listening to it on what YouTube. What the hell kind of legal question was that? Yeah, that's called a good one. Now get him out of here. Get him, get him out of here. Nobody can hear me. I'm, I'm the other guy. You know, with the other video, it was up and stuff. Is there anything he can do to, to help himself in this situation? That's a very good question. I think in, in order to to stop the harassment, he needs to solicit the uh, services of seven leprechauns. I'm telling you, lawyer. I'm, I'm telling trying. you. I'm trying. I didn't take that. I took real estate, so I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you would become an attorney, though, imagine the freaking money you'd be rolling in now. Yeah, well, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? You know. Yeah. I mean, we we are bound by the choices we make. You know, we just. How, are. How far yeah. You could have been Bill Clinton's lawyer when you. I mean, nearly, nearly. Yeah, there you go. That's what, that's who I need. I need Bill Clinton. Yeah, well, hindsight's 20, 20, 20, right? You know, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 uh, we, 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 How far did you get with your education? I mean, as far as getting a degree? I got, I got two, two years. I got two years. I didn't get a, I didn't get a degree, but I got my certification, so. Right, to be a lawyer, or? Real estate law, yeah. I got a certification in real estate law. Real estate law, well, there you go. Yeah, but, it, when, but I didn't get a degree, though, see, so I don't know, you know. I don't know. I don't. It's you are absolutely hungry. Like, like I said, one of those things they use for meat, like a meat hook. Like I said, that was how I passed criminal procedure. Like, you could have like, been Bill Clinton's lawyer when you. I mean, nearly, nearly. Yeah, they, <laughs> the, uh, the, hey, the he did such a good job not getting Bill Clinton impeached, right? <laughs> No, I don't need Bill Clinton's lawyer. He failed. Okay, Bill Clinton got impeached. No, 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 no. I want a lawyer. I would say that it's it's way up there. You know, does it rise to the level of a physical assault? I don't know. I'm not a criminal attorney, but but is it is it bad? Oh hell yeah, it's bad. Way up there. I'd like for you to explain to me about the rule of perpetuities. And I would like you to get the fuck off the dock so that I can talk. Listen, Bill, you, you're to me. I think it's gonna come out of my mouth. Consult an attorney. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gone. I told you if he comes in the room, I'm gone. Bye, see ya. What's going on, cousin Larry? I just muted. Bruce, you're muted. You're talking to me. I'm sorry, I'm muted because the damn dog is barking. <laughs> it's funny too because that hangout, he was completely exposed to perverts, totally into bestiality. Uh, that's fine. Larry, 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 I got it. Uh, with Vaughn, maybe. That was Vaughn's lawyer. Vaughn's lawyer laughed shortly after Vaughn laughed, probably did. No, I don't do that. Okay, Larry, I got, I got a question for you. The, are you aware of, uh, uh, of Vaughn's uh, um, weird fascination with uh, the, the video game sex mod stuff that he does? Keep in mind that my attorney is watching everything, no joke. Yeah, well, I mean... Okay, come on, kids. So, ...and children in these games. Once again... If anybody in the chat or anybody here knows, I would like to know where Vaughn's kids are. Are they with foster care? Have they been already moved? Are they going to, I don't know, Is when is Andrew going to see them? That was mentioned earlier. The, the fact that Vaughn immediately, like, he went to the first stream he could find to go live because G-Man's not live, Beckle's not live, Brett's not live, Channy's not live. Yes, he is. Oh, really? I'm sick. Oh. That's one on one without, I mean, I would, you know, I would ask everybody to leave. He would just talk with them, you know? What? And... Yeah, not time travel, but he just saves from an ultra and, and, and he's gonna say that this John Connor, you know what it is, he heard that the guy's name is John Connor, and then he put that together, you know, and then, you know, he tries to spread that as, like, well, this guy's just as crazy as I am or some shit, like, who fucking knows. But I mean, here's the thing, like, like but I, I like the part where he's just like, well, you don't need to know where my money comes from, it's my inheritance. It's like, no, like, listen, you can't just fucking take money from your fucking mom, and then claim it's your inheritance. That's not how it works. He's still living. He's still his dad. 
Hey, Larry, man. Wait, wait, wait. Did fucking the... Hold on a second. Larry's here, and I can I can step out. Unless somebody else wants to. I don't mind. I can step out for a bit. I'm going to let Larry back in. I um, dropped out. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, Blue. Help. Hey, Larry. Hi, guys. Hey, Larry. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. I'm sorry, Bond didn't come talk. Well, I know he wouldn't. He's going to run when he hears me coming in. So, a big light I... And I don't play with people ripping off 90-year-old women. So, Larry, a big lie that I, I, I caught Vaughn in was that he's claiming that the, the, the family property is his father's. It was never his father's and never would have been. Exactly. His dad, only made, two, his dad made $2 an hour. His mom owned four funeral homes and she sold them and moved down there and she bought him his house. The only reason his father was there... Go ahead. He was saying something about $6 million. That was a lot of money. It was no $6 million. <laughs> when he claimed that... I, I want to say it was you, Larry, that you went into her closet and you found like $2.5 million and you walked out with it. No. I would not steal one penny from her. And he says we're not family. Well, his mother is my grandfather's baby sister. So yes, Alice is my full-blooded great-aunt. But we know he lies. I mean, that's just pretty obvious. Larry, does he have any Native American animal? Yes, I'm not gonna lie. Does he have Indian? Yes, Cherokee. But not no 175 percent. Yeah, that's not how that works. He got point sixteen. So Larry, he told me that his he might have his point sixteen. His, 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 his uh, Bonnie told me that his mother is susceptible to people manipulating her. No, he's the only one that's manipulating her. Shocking. He keeps telling her that everybody wants her property. We don't want nothing she's got. He ain't got nothing we would want. Well, I remember the original story I was still that. Hear, I don't hear nobody. Yeah, yep. Yep, I hear you clear. Can you hear me, Larry? You're breaking up because I didn't hear the question. You're breaking well, up. The original. Can you still hear me? All I heard was the original. Yeah, like, the original story I heard from Vaughn was that this whole story was supposed to be, like, a, a massive land grab because Mom's property has, like, what, 40 acres? That might have oil under it. His mom has 40 acres? No, no, she does not have 40 acres. She's got about 240 acres. Okay. So Alice has about 240 acres. And that's on that land. She owns three other pieces. And the original story that I heard was that it was a land grab by the Frost because they want to grab that property because it might have oil under it. No. No. No oil around here. They took that out fucking 200 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he told Brian. If you guys believe... If you guys believe anything that boy tells you, you guys are as foolish as he is. So you're gonna tell me he's not the Punisher? So you're gonna tell me he's not the Punisher? He runs from me. <laughs> is he right? I go to his mom's house. He runs to my, he, he's at his mom's house, I go to his mom to pull in the driveway, and he runs to his trailer. <laughs> now, see, that up there, we didn't put up with bullshit. We don't rip our parents off. He did say he was a, uh, an Invictu, he was in an Invictu, and some martial arts, and apparently he's pretty good with martial arts. You know, Vaughn. Yeah, well, I'm good at ripping Adam's apples out, too, so what? Well, hell, that's a good point there. Uh, I highly doubt they got any kind of Invictu in that little town. Yeah, well, there actually is nothing in this little town, a gas station, and a... There actually is, like, a Ninjutsu dojo in Hampton, Ohio. That's three hours away. And I don't oh, care who you guys, whatever you guys call it. When I get near it, I'll rip his Adam's apple out and I won't have to worry about it. What? Well, hopefully only if he threatens. Because I know what the Adam's apple does. One of them? Ah, oh, you make some noise. It's like a sex change. Like a sex change. <laughs> that thing out. Yeah, he needs something. But you all know his wife's here too. She's watching this and I got five family members watching this. Like Andrea got lover. Good on you for He's fucking calling Vaughn a fucking coward. Yep. I mean, like, that, that's just what we see. <laughs> well, like, a, a big thing that I brought up in Grampy's stream, and, like, Vaughn has recently, like, he's caught himself doing it, but a, a big thing that it really, it, it didn't really chime well with me, when he refers to his eldest daughter, he calls her Andrea. Yeah, and that's really really know what I'm talking about. Like, like I, I'm not gonna put that label out there, because that's a hard thing to take back. Well, I mean, like, well, I, I wouldn't think about it, but I don't know. It's, you know, just to see how this happens. The guy has this video game that he has completely modified into a sex simulator. And within that sex simulator, you know, there's animals as well as the face. Or whatever. I would not be spending money that Vaughn has ever shot anything for 22. Oh, sorry, boss. He says that he shot his 22 at a three-foot alien and missed it. <laughs> the last movie, not so. He should use the force. 
Fox. Yeah, and then he told, he told the fan he knew him. I stuck up and going against Uncle Jim. I was going against my dad. I was going against Ronnie Ray. No, guys, he, he just needs a little help. He needs a little understanding. He needs to learn how to brush his hair and put deodorant on. He just needs a little help. <laughs> and I tried that, and it don't work. <laughs> he says, I don't know what I'm talking about, but at least I've been married for 18 years. I got five kids. And I raised them, and no CFB ever took my kids. Now, Bruce, do you believe for a goddamn second that Vaughn's a goddamn sharpshooter? Well, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, funny. Something to say about me? Or my family or anybody? Get out here and talk to me. Yeah, Bruce, I do apologize for getting fired up because I was trying to catch Vaughn and lie because I fucking did. Yeah, I just I wanted to keep Vaughn here and, and hope, you know, maybe it worked out somehow or something. Who the heck knows? But it, it didn't work, you know. I, it's okay. I did find it funny yeah. that he fucking once again docked his fucking kids' schools again. Uh, well, that's because they were set back to school with headlights again. Tell him he's surprised. Again? Again? Oh, yeah, that's five or six times already, easily. He puts that shampoo in it and lets him go to school that way. He don't wash the shampoo out. He don't comb the bugs out. So, just a curiosity, like, he did tour of his trailer a while back. Like, does it only have the one bathroom? There He's are got two, two bathrooms, bathrooms, but only one works. No, they both work. Really? The second one was fixed, like, seven months ago. Ah. Brand new floor, brand new tub, brand new toilet, everything. Brand spanking new in there. Because I know that the, uh, the rumor going around for a long time was he would lock his door when he would do his live streams. And just let the kids run rampant in the rest of the trailer because he doesn't want them interrupting him. Yeah, but when they gotta go to the bathroom, they gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta let them in. If that's well, the that only bathroom you got. Well, in 2017, that was why he got his kids taken away because he would do an eight-hour live stream and that was when the wild, wild, wild antelope was found. Well, that girl that cleans his trailer once a month for him, she filmed it. She showed pictures of it. She showed it to everybody. There was shit all over the wall where Jerry's been wiping it on the wall. Well, that was all That was all staged. No, man, there was nothing staged. That the was boss family, like, they, they, they convinced Lyella to write We Are Hungry on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I like the green card right now. Which is where her money's at. And the only reason I do is because he forgot to pay AARP for six months. Which is her health insurance. He ain't took her to the doctors in eight months. He ain't got her pills in eight months. He didn't pay the phone bill until after 700 hours, and I had to pay it. Well, a big thing I was curious about is how can he claim that a member of the Frost family has power of attorney, but a, little, he has, little Jim he has used power of attorney. To. Yeah, little Jim used to have power of attorney, which is my uncle, my dad's brother. But he signed it away about six, seven months ago. He went out and took $167 out of his own pocket and said that he didn't want nothing to do with it anymore because he's tired of everybody blaming him for stealing money. Jim don't need money. Jim's retired. He makes enough to make a living. So did she sign over to him? She, no, she signed it to nobody. That's why they're going to court on April 8th. They were supposed to do it last month, but his lawyer didn't show up. He canceled on him. Was that Mr. White or Mr. Uh, I don't, I don't know which lawyer it was. All I know is my Alice's lawyer was there, and I told him everything. Then I told the judge everything. Irby didn't stick around to wait long enough to hear what was going to be said. But as soon as he found out his lawyer wasn't there, he kind of walked out of the courtroom and left. Well, he's well, 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 online if they're sending him to jail. Well, he's going to jail. There's no doubt about that. What kind of jail? What kind of jail? Uh, probably the county jail. Physical jail. You yeah. know, I, I think with him taking her pills, that's elderly abuse. See, he's I don't believe kill her in my book. I, I don't believe for a second he's taking any kind of pills. He took her pills. I know he did for proven fact, because I went on, I bought the pills out of my own pocket. Took her to the doctor and he got her pills. Two days later, the pills come up, man. And I said, well, me and Joe's coming over, and we're going to flip your house over until we find them pills, because you've got to have them. And you know they were right where they were supposed to be? Ooh. She's got five phones in her house. He's got one of them over in his house. Where every time somebody calls there, he can listen to every conversation she, she's having with anybody. Yeah, he'll pick up the uh, receiver on the other end? Yeah, he, he picks up the other receiver and he'll listen to your conversations. He's convinced that, that you guys are trying to steal something from him uh, as far as his will? Nope. The will's already made. It was made eight years ago. The kids get everything. He gets $200 a month until the day he dies. Mm. That is it. He gets nothing. And as, as three days ago, she told me she wants him out of there. She wants him evicted. Shocking. And I told her that I can't make him, and she's not going to be able to make him because she's 91 years old. Kids. Well, would she, would she get the kids or why? I mean, it's done quite quick. I haven't been following much of this at all ever, but why why doesn't she have the kids? And why does why did Vaughn have them instead of her? I guess that's what I don't understand. Well, because they put her in a nut house because the way I understood it, well, I'm going to tell you honestly, I hated her guts for a while there. Because she gave Ann Alice a black eye when she was 85. So you're talking five, six years ago. Irby was not letting her go to the doctors. Irby was not letting her have her medicines. And she was... Mentally not there. You take a mental patient and you take her prescriptions away, she goes crazy on you. And she went crazy on Alice. So Alice called the law and she went to jail and they put her in the nut hospital. I wonder what Vaughn thinks of medications. I don't know. I don't know if he's for or against medications. I don't know. Well, he's I don't know, but definitely against it. Now, I'm going to say he's against it because he, you know, what he did with her and then he did it to his mother. Now, I, I would like to make up one point. It's been brought up to me in the past. Uh, I don't like calling him Earth. James. Yeah, I'll call him James. Yeah, his real name's Irvin. Well, I mean, his legal name is James. Yeah, Irvin. His legal I, name's Irvin. 
Irvin. No, like he legally had his name changed to James Falls. Yeah, well, his middle name was James Paul. Uh, I thought his middle so name he was... So he dropped the Eugene. first name off and kept the two middle names. No, I, I thought his middle name was Eugene. Not that I know of. Is he's Irvin Eugene Hilton Jr. Well, like, that might have been his birth. But, you know, he wasn't born Vaughn Hilton. He was born Hilton. Yeah. Uh, the reason I don't like calling him Irv is because, yeah, he was named after his father, who was a World War II veteran. Right. That he was. Well, so what? was my father. Wasn't Vaughn a military guy? For six, For six months. months. Okay. And they threw him out. Nah. Yeah. So what's about this government work stuff? This, you know, driving around, fighting pimps? He's been there as long as I know, and I've been here 12. Well, let's say for a moment that the RE3 and the JHJ, they, they meant different things back in the 80s. Uh, Sokka, you're a military man, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yes, 15 years. Uh, what is an Article 15? Oh, you're gonna go straight on. I'm Canadian military. Well, your Agnot's not here anymore. Oh. Yeah, no, we have different, uh, uh, codes for those things. As far as I know, in America, Article 15 means you went AWOL. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what is it about this? Wait, so, wait, who's got Bond's record for this? Uh, Father J and Polly Customs. Oh. To be honest, guys, they're not going against my 17-year-old because he'd be in real trouble. Because he's a junior in high school and I got 13 letters here saying they want him in college this year. Yeah, well, college is a scam because it's, it's all socialists and communists. Well, he's got enough money to go already, so the school that he goes to down here paid for him to go. And that he referred to as a summary trial. It's a little different than the court martial, but it's the same thing. It's, uh, you know, just, just proceeding which you kind of, like, where you will be... Charging doesn't make a wall or uh, duty on becoming or um, you know whatever infraction that you have. That yeah, but the article 15 is just a name that they give to the actual summary trial itself. And if you're found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, then we're going to get into disciplinary action as a result of that. Well, like I know he, he tries to pass the uh, RE3 under the radar because yeah, okay, I, I got kicked out of the military. I can't come back without a waiver. Well, they don't want me back because I got contracted to the government. How do you explain the GHJ? Because GHJ means that you were unsatisfactory. Like, you didn't do your fucking job. He well, wouldn't listen to nobody. He thought he was the boss. Pretty much. He thought he was the drill sergeant, and the other guy was the man that was supposed to be listening. Military. And when he got booted out for just being a fuckwit, it broke him. And the fact that he had to come back to his dad, who was a fucking military veteran, yeah, the, the shame and the inadequacy, it overtook him. So, I'm wondering, what brought you, um, one mind? Like, what made you come after, you know, looking for Vaughn? I mean, that's why I didn't really understand. Honestly, I got tired of it. I watched a lot of his things that he posted. And then I said, I'm tired of that. So I went out and I posted a couple of you guys saying, Hey, Vaughn Hilton, where you at? You got something to say about my family or something to say? Come and say it to me now. I'm on here now. I know how to get on here. Because I'm going to tell you guys, I'm 55 years old. Me on a computer? That's like me going back to a payphone that you go drop a quarter in at the corner and call somebody. I feel you, Larry, on that one. I mean, <laughs> come on, I'm 55. They barely had TVs out when I was born. Hell, I'm 60, so I feel you, buddy. Yeah, I'm 50. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean... I remember black and white TVs over your phones and old bits. Yeah, exactly, and that's us, too. I remember when there wasn't almost there wasn't a phone. You... Well, it's just like he told me... He was telling everybody in the family that his God said that I'm going to die soon. Well, I've got news... Yeah. Both. I call him James and I... As far as I know in America, Article 15 means you went AWOL. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what is it that Wait, so, but who's the boss? The, uh, contracting the government. How do you explain the GHJ? Because GHJ means that you were unsatisfactory. 
Like, you didn't do your fucking job. Well, he wouldn't listen to nobody. He thought he was the boss. Pretty much. He thought he was the drill sergeant, and the other guy was the man that was supposed to be listening. Tell you all the truth, I think he was just spoiled rotten as a kid. He should have been put over her knee and busted that ass a couple of times, and he might not have turned out this way. But See, being I, the only kid, being the only kid, they spoiled him rotten. I disagree. Like I, I, I think he tried going out for the military, and when he got booted out for just being a fuckwit, it broke him. And the fact that he had to come back to his dad, who was a fucking military veteran. Yeah, the, the shame and the inadequacy, it overtook him. I think he just came back to get the inheritance, to get everything that they have. And he's going to get a big surprise when he sees that uh, thing of hers. Because she's already got a will she made out before the dementia came up, eight years ago. Saying all three of the grandkids get the property, he gets 200 a month for life. So I'm wondering, what brought you... Um one line, like, what made you come after, you know, looking for Vaughn? I mean, that's why I didn't really understand. Honestly, I got tired of him. I watched a lot of his things that he posted, and then I said, I'm tired of that. So I went out and I posted a couple of you guys saying, hey, Vaughn Hilton, where you at? You got something to say about my family or something to say? Come and say it to me now. I'm on here now. I know how to get on here. Because I'm going to tell you guys, I'm 55 years old. Me on a computer? That's like me going back to a payphone that you go drop a quarter in at the corner and call somebody. I feel you, Larry. I'm that one. I mean, come on, I'm 55. They barely had TVs out when I was born. Hell, I'm 60, so I feel you, buddy. Yeah, I'm 58. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? I mean, I remember black and white TVs, rotary phones, and the whole bit. Yeah, exactly, and that's us, too. I remember when there wasn't almost there wasn't a phone. You had to run down to the neighbors to use their phone or go yeah. to the neighbors to watch yeah. TV. You remember You didn't report to have anything. Yeah. You remember calling into the radio like if you were the first callers? And then oh. the day I yeah, and win some, yeah, we get that a lot. We used to practice call down. You never ever could keep up, especially if people would have like some memory in their phone. They hit a button and it would call. They always win. That's what we had. We had that memory. You dial all the numbers and wait for that last number. Yeah, I could never win. Now, Larry, you're telling me you're, you're only 55? I am 55. You don't look a day under 30, I swear. <laughs> you look 15 years younger than fucking Vaughn. Well, I'm 55. Yeah. I'm the same. Uh, Vaughn is six months. He was born October 24th of 64. I was born March 28th of 65. Well, white people say here online, though, you gotta get credit. I mean, Vaughn is sexy. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Who the hell thinks Vaughn's sexy? Ah, uh, the gods. He's so his shit on that god shit. Well, it's just like he told me. He was telling everybody in the family that his god said that I'm gonna die soon. Well, I got news yeah. for him. He's My God's much, very powerful. He's pretty much done that with everybody, Larry, so you're not special on that path. Yeah, yeah, well, I got a very powerful God, so I'm not worried about his God. I dumb question. Who is your God? Your God. God Almighty, the real God. The God of the Bible. The God of the Bible. Well, that is different than his multiple many gods, I guess. I got credit for that. My goodness. Hey, uh, I, I wanted to... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I believe the Bible. Earlier, y'all were talking about Article 15s. Um, that's kind of, that's pretty much, usually like, non-judicial punishment, from what I remember. Like, uh, I got busted smoking pot in the army. I got an article 15, they put money out of my face that I got suspended, uh, you get, uh, rest uh restricted to the barracks, and you get, uh, like, extra duty for, like, 45 days or whatever like that. Um, but you can get an article 15, they can read some other things, too, but, <clears throat> just because you get an article 15 doesn't really mean much. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't claim to know a lot about that whole information. I just remember, uh, you know, Charlie brought it up and Polly brought it up. Well, you know, I could really find out if we really want to. I got a cousin that was in the military. 25 years. Well, Earth claims that uh, thanks to him, we're not speaking Russian for what he did during the Cold War. Yeah. Serious. He's nuts, I'm telling you guys, he is nuts. He was going to move his kids and himself to Belize, uh, because yeah. CPS was up his ass for so much. Sorry, well, yeah, he, he, as far as I heard, he was going to move to Tennessee. Well, that's pretty that's much close to Belize. But that's, not gonna, but that's not going to help him any, because when he puts his kids in Social Security in the schools, or to get Jerry's check, they're going to find him. Well, listen, he doesn't have his kids anymore, so it's a, it's, it's free boat. I wish he would move, I do. I got somebody to rent that place and give her cash money every month. Is he going to get evicted, do you think? I want to. 
I want to have him evicted and get somebody in there that's going to take care of the property, going to help take care of her. That way I don't have to run over there once or twice a day, every day. Like a live-in nurse? That's what I... Well, she don't want no one to live with her, so we'd have to have a nurse go in there and, like, maybe... Make well, sure no, she's taking her pills, tire. cook her breakfast, and yeah. make sure the house is decent, and then leave for a few hours, and they, maybe come back they, and cook lunch and dinner. Do they have something like senior, dis uh, senior disability services? Like, Honestly, like a, I don't a, know, but with all her medical, the insurance that she's got, I know that she can have somebody come out and see her. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's probably something Irv didn't really uh, think too much about. It's the same thing with, uh, with Jerry, you know? He right, probably right. should have, like, in-home care. Uh, right. Well, you know, stuff. another thing I heard Irvy talking about, he said something about that uh, little Jim put her in a nursing home, and he went in there and started cleaning it all up and doing this and that. He did do that. He did take the sliding glass doors and put a regular door there. He did take up the carpet and put hardwood floors in. He did paint all the crayon markers all over the living room floor. He paint or on the walls and floors. He went ahead and painted all the walls. Was Jim moving somebody else in? No. Now ask me why she was in the nursing home. Is because Irv James's kids went over there and locked Aunt Alice in her bedroom. She yep. had to crawl out her window, and as she crawled out her window, she fell and broke her leg. Damn. And that is why she went to the nursing home for a month and a half. Yeah, that was like two years ago, wasn't it? Yes. Them guns Irv James has, them ain't his guns. Them are his mother's guns. Well, I've heard that in the past, that like the revolvers, like those were his dad's. No, they were all Alice's. Her, his dad never had no money. But I have heard in the past that Vaughn has bought guns recently. Like the shotgun. Well, and that well, uh, 50, cal uh, the 50 caliber pistol or something. I don't know that... Uh, well, we, yeah, the revolver. Yeah. When yeah. someone is still 50... Thousand out of the safe and twenty five thousand out of the bank account. And you can buy anything you want. No, somebody gave them money because see there were people out there. Irv was going around for a long time telling people he was a single father and his feet were fixing to get turned off, his lights were going to get turned off, and he was a single father doing the best job he could. And he seriously fooled a lot of people. Well, yeah, and people sent him money. A the only money. bill he has is his phone bill, the phone, yeah. the internet, and the cable. They're all together. He goes through Spectrum, and it's two hundred four dollars a month. His light bill, his mom pays. The water bill, his mom pays. The heat's the free. The gas bill, the gas bill, it's free because it's coming right out of the mountain. Well, that's why he's got a lot of haters. It didn't used to be haters. Oh, how he considers haters or sure. Um, a yeah, lot of he people... got the off roads. Yeah. Well, I'm just a drunk drug addict. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I used to be. I had to quit drinking. I spoke fine. That's about it. God damn it. Damn. I did. Just... Grandpa, you're no the joke. I'm the drunk. I'm the smoker. And Larry, you need to get, your, get a pair of headphones. Yes, I will. <laughs> well, I had a nice, real nice one with computer, a big tabletop computer. I let Irby come over for, James come over for a week, because oh. his was down, and then mine shut off. Is that when you guys did that video uh, about him being a Cherokee Indian? Yeah, I think it was back then. Because he was over here when he was doing it. You do know that um, Snyder the Handyman... Uh, or Charlie Miller, uh, he's into the uh, Ancestry.com uh, stuff, and he has 11 or 12 generations. The story of your of the uh, Eltons and the Frost that go right, way, right. way, way back. And he's offered that information to Herb for free, but Herb won't take it because it's got to be all a lie. Yeah, yeah, well, I got it all already. We know about Shadrach. And... We are related. There we go. Chief Redbird is my eighth great grandfather, but he was only half Indian. Oh. His his wife was full blooded Indian, but he was only half. What's his fascination with being a Cherokee Indian? I don't know. Like I said, if he's got any of the Indian blood, it's like point sixteen. Dang. And we're also Daniel Boone's sister's ninth great grandmother. Oh, I wonder if Charlie found that. I got it. They've got it going back to Pocahontas. Wait, I want to see if I can call Vaughn in real quick. I'm going to go to Scott. And Scott in. <laughs> Good luck. There's no way he's coming in. He comes in. He's going to see me. Goddamn beer. What the hell? I know where he lives. 
I think legally there's a, there's a distinction between a threat and a promise, so I think you're safe there. <laughs> yeah, exactly! That's why I said it! I promise well, even you! Well, brought it up. No, like, even Dragnaut brought it up, was like, no, like, Larry never said that, like, he was gonna come to your house and kill you. He said he was gonna come to your house and come home. You. Yeah, I'm gonna front him. Well, it depends on what you mean by confront me, because I, I take that as a death threat. No, you know, you know I'm going bitch. over there to tell him that all these lies that he's putting out there about Alice and about me and Jim and everybody, that's baloney. He's going to need to stop that, or something's going to happen. He's going to go to jail. And if oh, he swings at me, character too. if he swings at me, he's probably going to hit me. He's going to hit me once, he's going to hit me twice, the third hits me hitting him, and then they're going to call and get a body bag for him, because he's not getting up. Oh, you got to wait for that third one. Wait for that third then you can hit him. Yeah, Vaughn doesn't have a fucking nut sack to ball his fist up and throw it at anybody. Yeah, I don't think he would, because like I said, he runs every time I go to his mother's house. He leaves and goes home. He walks. Yeah, little people. Oh, we saw how quickly he jumped out when you came in. Yeah, you've seen it. The same thing he does when I go there. Then he gets he on, knows, I, I don't lie. I was born not to lie. If you lie, then you're going to take another lie and cover that first lie. Why lie? Why don't you just keep going get go? my friend, man. When he was talking earlier... Oh, well, the, the amount of money that was involved went from what, two million to six point five million, less than five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and then yeah. when I think up to what, ten million? Who keeps six million dollars or even a million dollars or something in their closet? It's like two million dollars in their closet. Yeah. You think I'd be living here at six million dollars in my pocket? You're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'd be sitting on a Hawaii island somewhere, fucking drinking. Cohia smoking the good shit and fucking having bikinis running around all day. Fuck yeah, I want to party with you, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we can get really fucked up, man. Leave the lights at home. I don't drink no more, but I sure can smoke. Yeah, well, we can, you know, I mean, I don't really drink my, much either anymore, but, you know. Well, I never got into beer. You know what my drink is? Jack Daniels. Ah, uh, you look like a Jack Daniels guy. I'm a JD man. Lenny would be so proud. <laughs> You know, you know, do you know do you know about his die cast metal he's in Hot Wheels? Do you know that or Well he, yeah, I heard he's been spending a lot of money on it. It's out in the garage where he lives at. Yeah, the gravy don't get well, it. Well should that yeah. to, to have some Hot Wheels, you know. I mean, it's good fun. Well, I don't know, it matters how much you want to put out for it. I mean I got a little over two thousand in my drain set. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. have a job, right, Larry? No, I don't have a job no more. Well I mean, but you have a means of income. Yes, I collect social security. Okay. Like, and you probably do like a lot of people do that are on the collectible side. You kind of, you know, go with what you can afford and sometimes maybe a little bit Well, more, but, you know, honestly, I bought it when I was working out there making real money. And now that I got kids, all I do is pay my bills and make sure they got food and clothing. But you spend once, they all money, move, once all my kids are gone, then I'll start working on my train set again. Well, Bond did say that the uh, Hot Wheels was an investment for his, chi for his kids' uh, Future. It was kind of yeah. inherited. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, the, the Hot Wheels cars itself and what he's done in the gravy or the garage. You know, that's that was an investment for his kids for their future. Well, I don't think they're going to be that much money worth when they get older. Them are brand new cars. It ain't like he's buying something from way back when. No, but the brand new cars and some of them were worth some money, you know, because well, the there's, there's a few worth. Yeah, there's a couple yeah. worth. But even if but, he got, you're not going to get full value. Especially it, ain't a, it ain't a Miss Beasley doll that's going for ten thousand dollars right oh, now. Oh, Miss Beasley reference. Wow, you are old. <laughs> yeah. Family, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I remember Prince, them dolls. Buffy and Jody, Mister French. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, them Miss Beasley dolls right now are ten thousand dollars a piece. Wow, I just one. There are six of them in the United States only. Kids, kids played with them. They, you know, that's what they were made for. Yeah, back then they didn't have something called collector's items when the toy got right, old. Right. Your mom threw it away or you threw it away because you had to make room for... Because one of the kids yeah. broke it. Yeah. One of the kids broke it, so they threw it away. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's probably not a whole lot of snipers, though, shooting uh, aliens and shit. Like the Orbs story was that he went on G-Man's channel and claimed that he banished a greater demon. Not minutes ago, before he went on G-Man's channel and said that... I just banished a demon from my own property. And I think Larry is there. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, it had a no, round Randy white face, face, small slim body, and he, he charged forth. That must be that three foot alien. Oh man, yeah. Have yeah, we been in videotape this? Of course not. 
There's, are you calling her a liar? Oh, oh, he oh, wasn't shooting. He was vanishing. Yeah, I've never seen him tell the truth ever. Well, you know, Larry, he's claimed over the years on multiple occasions that even as a small child, he felt as if he was smarter than even the teachers. That's yeah. why he was bored in schools, and they had to make up a special curriculum for him. Because yeah, regular well, school work was so fucking easy. Some other things, so. uh... Well, you know, when you're collecting someone's social security check, you can't just put them... You know, if I'm collecting social security, there's no way I can take my check and put it in your account with your name on top of that account. Because hmm. social security is going to say, is that your payee? Do you need a payee? Yeah, right. you, you couldn't study that, so... I didn't know. So they stopped his social security check. And I told him, I was like, well, take them back down and find out why they stopped it. You know what he did? Next day, I call over there. I was like, well, did you take him out of social security? No, I ran out of gas. But I go to the gas station, and she said he was just up there and filled up, and he's got a wad of $100 bills in his hand. Oh, jeez, He didn't care about the check, because he took all the money out of the bank. The only bills he's paid is the light, the light bill and the water bill. Her phone almost got shut off. Her insurance did relax. And I had to count him in to turn in it, you know, put it back on her because she needs insurance. She's oh, 91. Course. She's supposed to see a doctor every three months. Right. And that's another thing, too. He claimed to be in charge of her health, right? right. He's in medical charge of the attorney. attorney. Medical power of attorney. Exactly, right? Okay, I've been a medical power of attorney. Before. I've had a medical power of attorney before. It's, it's your job to know and coordinate with the doctors and other health staff. Or and he like, won't even take her to the doctor. So, and, and he goes, I haven't been notified by snail mail. I don't know. When, when I would take my mother to the doctor, that stuff would be taken care of before we left. Right. Well, that's the point. He never took her to the doctors, ever. Yeah. Hey, guys, check this out. That noise? Yeah. My kids took school. I, I yeah, they've got uh, a few cases up, up the road in Massachusetts from here already. Oh, they got four here in Lexington, which is only yeah. about a two-hour drive. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Larry, can I ask you a question? This might be a little bit... I, I don't know if you want to go there. Does so Larry wear diapers? I don't know. I know he don't wear deodorant. Well, does he, does he, does he spit or swallow? <laughs> Never mind. I ain't going there again. I can't do that. That's horrible. No, because... Hey, guys, been, there's been a thing... See, I've been... Okay, 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 okay. Is there any possibility he could be a homosexual? It could be, I mean... He doesn't seem to be getting the pussy. Yeah, exactly. No, I mean, I've seen uglier people than him get laid. Well, yeah, but look at what he's looking for. If they're over 21, he's not interested. They gotta be 18 yeah. to 21. You gotta be great in age. That's just creepy as fuck. My goodness, my poor guy. I mean, look at, I mean, not against Andrea, I like her and everything, but what is she, 20 and he's 50? She was 17 when they first started talking. Oh, see, there you go. Yeah. That's a little girl. I got kids older than that. I mean, my wife's a bit younger than me, but she also acts like an adult. Oh, I, I mean, I'm not, than me. Yeah, and I'm not saying anything bad about Andrea. She's got a problem, too. But, um, yeah. Mine's 10 years younger than mine, to be exact. Yeah, my wife's smarter than me. Yeah, well, they say women mature quicker. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, she is, actually. I'm sure she is. Mine is? She's older than me. Bit. Well, mine's younger, 10 years. Oh, the posse eating boys are out. They got to go to work in a few hours and make some more strong bullies. <laughs> yeah. uh, like that Vaughn Hill, and why don't you, uh, you know, tell him I'm looking for him. He gets on, let me know. And then he paged me in Facebook. And he was telling me, and then this other guy, I think he might even be on here with me still. I got his name wrote down, but he got on and said, well, Vaughn Hilton's over here. Want to do a live with him? And I was like, yeah. He goes, well, I invited him. He never showed up. And then we found out you guys were over here, and we all came over here. And then I think y'all kept seeing me say, let me in, let me in. As soon as I come in, he's gone. Yeah, well, we were rooting for you in the side chat, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm still learning how to do that stuff. I should have yelled for my 14-year-old to come over here and show me how to do it. Yeah, that first video you did when you go, hey, I'm on the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I was surprised. I got on. So, if, if I could ask you a question, I mean, and this is just your personal opinion, so it doesn't necessarily have what do you think, in the end, is going to happen? I mean, what do you think that the, the final, um, how do you think it's all going to play out? Well, it matters if I get power of attorney, 
or if she's gonna keep power attorney until she dies me personally i'd like to see irby get thrown out and we rent all them properties and get everybody in there that's paying a rent to her and that she lives happy the rest of her life yeah well there will come a point where somebody's gonna need to be her power attorney and then when when she does go that somebody runs these properties until them kids turn 18 and then they start going in and giving it to the kids and the kids can't sell them it's in the contract you cannot sell the properties at all welcome back larry lawyer. so, so larry, these properties will stay in people. the family for the rest of their lives hey one thing i gotta ask just for the heck of it before we go any too much further do you think there's hope though that things can work out well for bond i mean it is you know you continue on youtube and his life would go better and I mean, is he think that's possible, or...? I think if he keeps going the way he's going, he's gonna go to jail for a very long time. That's a shame. Well, on April 8th, I'll be able to fill you guys in on everything, because April 8th, when I seen the judge last month, I told her about that money missing. I told her about him not taking her to the doctors. I told her about him not taking her to the store that the Swanson man comes out. He don't take and go get her no eggs it's or bread. It's the Swan man! It's the Swan man! Some and if you notice when he showed that video of all that food in her deep freezer, that's all the swine man. Oh hell. Good God. I don't understand what he thought that video was supposed I mean, I get it. He opened it up and there was a uh, freezer full of box foods from Schwann. But the whole idea, you know, like when he had Alice in the background, right. okay, you can tell. And I'm not and sitting I'm on Alice or nothing, but just, you can tell that, for the most part, there's nobody home. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. She didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Well, guys, I, I showed her some of these posts the other day. We went to her house, and my cousin has a tablet, a big one, and we showed her, like, three or four of them, and she started crying and told us to turn it off. She's, and then that's when she started telling me, I want him gone. I wish he'd move. I wish he'd leave. I wish we could evict him. And I was like, honey, it's not hard to evict him. Yeah, it serves with the eviction papers. Yep. Well, I mean, I don't even know if we have to serve eviction notice because he don't pay rent. He has no rent receipts. He has no yeah, claim to it. But he's, uh, is that, that's his address, though. He's, he's established residence. So there has to still be any victim. Even squatters have to be. I was like, gonna say a bum evicted. can go move into a house then. Yeah, they do. Actually, it's called squatting. Yeah, well, that's wrong. I'm someone goes on my property and squatters, I'm gonna shoot them. That's Don't trespassing that. to me. To me, that's trespassing. That's the reason I moved here to Kentucky. You know, in the state of Ohio where I'm originally from. If somebody's breaking into your house, you got the rights to shoot them, but you got to drag them in your house. No, don't drag them in. Well, I think well, they, they, they say, actually come in first. You know. Well, let them come in first. State of Kentucky, you can shoot them anywhere on your property as long as you got no trespassing signs. That's the nice they say, sir. Could you please come in for the house? Like the to state, shoot, the, shoot, the state highway patrol man told me to put one bullet over their head, and if they don't turn around and run off your property. Put one in them. Not in the back. No, I hit the leg or I hit something. He's gonna know it. And I'm not as good as my dad, but I'm not as bad as James. <laughs> I've been deer hunting for over 35 years. I know how to hunt. Yeah, go yeah. Deer. but have you used the force against the groundhog? No, no, I don't shoot. Okay. I don't go for groundhogs. Okay, we gotta go in a minute now. I have to that's admit. a weasel, anyways. That ain't I a groundhog. That's a weasel. I'll be no, he used he used the literal force. I do have an issue here. I have an issue that deer always have hidden from me when I went out hunting. But nevertheless, Vaughn did say that where he lives, that groundhogs are up to like three or four feet long. What the hell groundhogs is he seeing? Like the groundhogs aren't that big. He's seeing little dogs. That's what I hey, hey, did you ever see the panda bear that was running down the street? Oh, no, there ain't no one down here. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Earth said that he was looking out one day and there was a panda bear running down the street. And animal control was going after him with the cage they had, which is small. 
I want to know where it came from. It ain't no excuse. Nowhere near. It escaped from the wildlife sanctuary. And no one has died. No one has died. There's no panda bears, and there's no groundhog. Well, it's easy to get as much as that. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, we did see a cat down here. Oh, yeah. I'm just there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.